The views and opinions expressed by the No Nonsense Show and its hosts do not necessarily reflect views consistent with political correctness or the Rare Sonics Podcast Network. So to get the show started right, we want to wish any officers of the Sensitivity Police a heartfelt fuck you. Listeners, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Friday Show. Once again, we got French Reggie in the house with us. What's up? And of course, Jamie Mack. With, with, that, with or without the accent? Uh, I've never heard him without the accent. Does he does he fade in and out of it? Am I, I missing that? It, see, and the thing about it, it was it was a little Africanish. It was a little it was a little native. So if you met him, would you know he was Haitian? No, not I, I would mean, either. I would not, think he's probably African. Yeah, but I, I, mean, I might said, just be I might be ignorant though. Why well, African? This is in my forehead or some shit. Listening to the No Nonsense Show, ten percent less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. No, it's, it's your accent. accent. Yeah, and you say between, like <laughs> between. I mean, okay. No, that if you if I heard you say between, I would think that you were African. No, but I think it has to do with a lot of the, the African people that I know here are from French speaking African yeah, countries. It's the language that we speak, it's not necessarily where we're from. I said that last show. <laughs> no, you said Africa speaks French. That's what you said. I said the black Africans. <laughs> Most of the Africans are black. And they're it's a not big all- continent. I don't need I don't want you to paint with that broad brush. There's a lot wow. of it's a big it's a big continent. Wow. I don't want you to paint that broad. Right. You know, there's a lot of different nationalities in Africa, not just blacks. Just, just put it out there. Well, Okay, nationality they're all African. There's different tribes. Okay, you're right. Okay. Well, they be Nigerian or Kenyan or Ghanaian or Liberian or racist. You know, name some more. Racist. You name name five African country countries. Um, Ethiopia. Okay. Kenya. Okay. Madagascar. Don't, don't say any of that. I said. I said Kenya. Uh, Ethiopia. Uh, Madagascar. Stop it with Madagascar. Come on. Why? Because a cartoon. No. I can't know it's that. An island. Come on. Give me. Give it's me. Still give me, part of Africa. Yeah, right. but give me. Give me mainland. <sighs> okay. Uh, Ethiopia. You got that. The the Congo. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 did I already say Nigeria? I said that. So uh, you can't uh, use that one. Okay. Um, Egypt. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Africa. Okay. Would you, would, Come on, yeah, man. That is completely Africa. <laughs> right. It is. Uh, and then what? How many is that? That's three. You need That's two only more. three? Yeah, you need two more. Um, South Africa. Okay. And then- One last uh, one. Let's go with the- <laughs> Let's go with- uh, <laughs> In the middle for- In the middle. Yeah, what's that? The um, Serengeti? That's not a country. No. Is it? I don't, I don't think know. that's a country. Uh, okay, we're. Um, what about uh, Mozambique? Okay, I'm not sure if that's a country. That might be a city in a country, but oh, that's fine. But it's 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 somewhere over there, right? It might be a country. I don't know. There are a lot of countries. Yeah. See, I mean, it's probably a small country. Yeah, I mean, but you could have said like Libya, Morocco. There's tons of them. No, nah, I don't want to be. Chad, like, I, nah. Niger. There's, there's a yeah. yeah. That's there's how you say it. Niger. Eritrea. Or Niger, whatever, whatever. I don't know. How Niger. To, uh, Niger. Yeah. Is it Niger? No, I think it's Niger. Anyway. Is that where the word originated from? No. Okay. Maybe that's where like the first slave came from. No. And they were just like, "Hey, this is a, <laughs> this is a Niger." <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of over the years, <laughs> you played that game right in school where the you whisper something in one ear and then <laughs> right. And it, it, and by it the started, time it's totally different. It started off, telephone. Yeah, it, it started off like Niger. You know what I mean, or whatever you said. You know, and then. By the time you got to America, it was... Right. Nigger. Yeah, exactly. It is what it was. I know it's nowhere near Christmas, guys, but I was just wondering, when did you guys learn Santa Claus wasn't real? Like, how old were you? I remember um, I, distinctively, I was probably like six or seven. Six or seven. And it was because my parents took me to a hood mall, <laughs> and they had a black Santa. <laughs> And that fucked that's it up. That's not the dude on TV. It, it was not. And they were like, they tried to play it. Oh, that's one of his helpers. Why is he dressed just like him now? Why the fuck the black one got to be the helper? The, the helpers fucking got the green suits. On. I know the what helps. the helpers look like. This motherfucker is portraying to be the man. And that's not him. And then they they were, you know, I was making a big scene because that's what I did as a kid. And that that's when they were like, listen. So you lost your shit in the mall? Yeah, because you, you can't. I never had, I'd never seen a, even a. 
picture of a fucking, that was like black Jesus. That was right. like seeing black Jesus for the first time. You're like, what the fuck? A black Santa? I've been lied to. You're like, But see, I didn't think I'd been lied to. I think I thought they were lying to me now. There's right. no way right. that a black uh, I know right. could do Santa's job. <laughs> I, I, so I was like, that's not that's not true. This It's probably more likely that this is the lie and not what I've been told. Right. What about so, you, friends, Reggie? To be honest with you, I never really believed in Santa Claus. Since you can remember. Yeah, I think it's the Haitian thing too, though, because we didn't have a chimney. Y'all have gifts. No, we had gifts. It's just <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have chimneys, right? Yeah, the whole like, oh, he has eight reindeers with the chimney. Why shit. kids ask me yeah, that shit? Like, yeah, how does he get into an apartment? Yeah. So right. we never had that, and also too, when I was in school, the teachers used to be like Santa Claus for Christmas. So it's <laughs> right. like I could tell. So I never really like got into the whole hype of yeah. believing in Santa Claus. I think my mom ruined that, ruined that shit for me very early too. So what about the other things like the Easter Bunny and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, same shit. Tooth Fairy, all that shit. I don't ever think I ever. I didn't even got that. money for that shit. Yeah, I, I never really believed in the Easter Bunny. That just seemed very. It's ridiculous. Up. I mean, like, I, okay, I know a guy flying around on a sled dropping off presents. Right. You know that seems ridiculous in right. itself, but somehow that was plausible. I guess no, somewhat believable but yeah, as a but kid. No. Yeah, but the Easter and a bunny rabbit that leaves leprechauns you know, with yeah, all that kind of right, stuff. Yeah, that leaves like. Chocolate flavored eggs for you to find and shit. Isn't like a leprechaun that. saying you just midgets with long ears? So they have to be Irish too. So you have to put that okay. in there. Irish midgets, midgets with, with long, long ears. ears. Isn't that really what a leprechaun is? Any basic human could be one. Mm, I don't know about that, but I, I didn't. I didn't really believe in them. So yeah. What about boogeyman? I um. I live with someone who won't sleep with the closet open now. A love like as an like, adult. Yes. Oh wow! I thought you were talking about a kid. No the closet got to clo- be closed. Like if I accidentally go to my closet and I leave it open and it's, it's just like, hey yo, hey hey, hey. <laughs> you know. So I get that, <laughs> but does she be leaving it? Or is it just like how she wasn't believes expecting? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know what she. I, house, you know what? I, it's not even a conversation. I'm ready to get into. I just shut it. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, if you want it shut, I'll shut it. You happy know, what wife, I mean? happy life. Why do do I need to really convince you? There's nothing in there that's scary. You should know that, right? I mean, I was just in there, but for me. <laughs> I, as a kid, was I slept with the lights on until I was fucking like thirty. No, honestly, <laughs> like eleven. That's why you and, know you didn't pay the the light bill. No, right. I mean electricity was a lot cheaper back then too, Reggie. True. So yeah. I, I can only imagine what the boogeyman was in Haiti because our boogeyman yeah. was pretty scary. But in Haiti, we we'll call him Lou Gaou. See, see? They that have sounds a name. scary as like, fuck. In Hawaii, they have a name for him too. Like the I fucking, would be scared of Lou Gaou right now. <laughs> do it, say it again. Lou Gaou. Yeah, that that sounds it. like a dude. Like, I just said it like that too. Lou no, Gaou. No, nah, kind of. I got to see what the accent Yeah. Lugau. 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 Like, I remember I went and visited my cousins one time, and they told me they scared me with the hatchet lady. Said that there was this lady that um that hacks people up, you know, throughout the town. And right. I don't know what, what, what was her motive uh, or what, but this was the story. We were at the park. And right. It was getting dark. They're telling this shit. By the time it was time to go to bed, I think I was like 12 or 13 at this time. I... And I hate to say it, I slept on my parents' floor that night. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not fucking around with the hatchet lady. Right. And they were like, the hatchet lady? Like, I mean, so I don't know about the boogeyman. I, I think in once you become your mid-teens, you got to get over it. But early teens, right. I was still scared of shit. Well, like, if you're home by yourself, that's the only time you start thinking about that kind of stuff. No, like, it, if people are going for a long time, you know you're going to be there by yourself overnight or something. Not me. As I, a teenager? I, I thought about that shit like, like period, like. When it was time to go to bed, like when I had my own room, I didn't. Me and my brother shared a room until he became like fourteen. So I was what ten. Okay. Um, I was that was like the worst day in my life. Like when he took when he got his own room, I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" I, I was not happy at all. Everybody else was happy in the house except for me. I like fuck. I gotta I gotta sleep with this bitch by myself. I woke my parents up screaming, thinking that there was something in the room. Right. You know, in the closet or whatever the case may be. Right. I've called 911. Oh, yeah, I remember that story. Yeah, so, I mean... You I, hit it, the bathroom. Well, no, that was... I didn't call 911 on that one. I, I actually broke out of the bathroom. Because oh, yeah, I thought, you broke through the door. Yeah, because I thought... I, but there was just one time I was at home and I thought I heard of something outside. I, th- I thought that's what 911 was for. <laughs> Motherfucker, come check. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not on me as a kid to right. go out there and fucking check. I've seen exactly. it in movies. I would ask the the obvious next one, when did you guys stop believing in Jesus? But you idiots still believe in Jesus, so I have to let that one go. How is Jesus not... I mean, what is there not to believe in? Jesus is a yeah, real yeah, person. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll move on. <laughs> um, here's the question I have, though. I, you know, I wanted to talk about the, the supernatural things, but 
When did you realize, and this is a this is a tough one, when did you realize that adults weren't shit? Adults? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about too, right? What you mean, yeah. So like, you know, Santa Claus was this big fat man that snuck down your chimney or whatever. Yeah. And the Easter Bunny fucking laid candy eggs everywhere yeah. and leprechauns had a pot of gold and you know what I'm saying, uh, who else were we talking about? Yeah, yeah, I see what you're going. I right. see the pattern. But what about when you learned that adults weren't really shit? Oh, like they don't really know that much compared to you? N- not they're, really. They're, they don't they're, know they're, shit. They're like, really lying to when, you. When your dad was, like, was a superhero, and then all of a sudden yeah, your dad was a regular when, dude. When I was about like 14. What was that situation like for you? When I was about like 14. No, he, so. That's it? That's, yeah. all you, that's all you got? He said, what oh, was that like, situation like for I don't like remember the you? exact reason why I figured out, but I just remember why I'm Freshman year in high school That's when I started to realize Like Yo they're really Not that much different No I want to tell you Mine was I was 11 And my dad Me and my dad Went to the park Yeah And we were playing basketball And you whooped his ass Whooped his ass <laughs> How old were you? 11 Damn your dad sucks He does Yeah yeah Cause I beat my does. dad at 13 that, 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 That's what I'm and saying my dad, yeah, I beat my dad at 13 my I, dad didn't, is, I, didn't, I didn't beat my dad ever My dad oh, was no, not that's an athletic at all key. The okay. key is to beat your dad first Nah bro You ain't beat my older, dad That older brother or cousin After you're not beating my dad. Your dad's a hooper. My dad. I mean, he played. He played college football. Oh, so he's just a big ass. Nigga. He was, so he he going he football. Just, he's you. athletic. Yeah, he was like no foul, no blood, no foul. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, my dad beat me and retired when I was 16. Yeah. See, I, um, <laughs> he, I he never played me again. I, I, I he knew around. he was gonna beat him after that. It didn't matter. He wasn't. He wasn't up for the. He wasn't up for the the the, the opportunity. Bonding. He was no. He wasn't up for the opportunity. He felt like it was his job to beat the shit out of me. He beat me 11 to one to 11 to zero. Eleven to zero, and I did the same thing to my son. I, I beat him. I beat him. Um, it was a uh, we played like four or five games. I beat him. He had like maybe one point in think, one of the you games. You think you think your son can beat you now at basketball? Yeah. No. You can't beat me at basketball now. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can. And my son, and that's with the can't. rebuild dog lick knees. You, yeah, you can't beat me because it's, it's it's a different game, man. I mean, you're gonna be quick. You're gonna be, you know, what I'm saying you're gonna have. That's the thing. Like, you, I know my speed will just be so. Speaking of that, that's not what one on one is, though. I tried to I tried to take your advice. I don't know what you have to do. Put peanut butter on your wound. Like, how did you get the dog to lick it? Because like he <laughs> just knows. Remember, no, he just knows to lick it. Nah, he didn't lick it. Nah, he, my my son had a wound on his leg, and I was like, do it. And he's like, no, nah, dad, you know. And I finally convinced him to try. So we get the dog to come over, and the dog's like. Fuck you want me to do? I'm like, I'm fucking <laughs> lick this bitch, right? And, you know, I put his nose right on it, and this nigga's like, get off of me. I'm like, this some That's bullshit. Weird. Wait a minute, you really believe that shit? I wanted to see. Okay, I don't. Oh, that shit is real. <sighs> Jamie Mac, but, but I showed a, you. I, saw, I showed you. I gave you the facts. Jamie Mac, I no, don't. I gave you the facts though. I like, I did the research in front of you and showed you the facts. Jamie Mac, I don't believe that a man ever turned into a goat in front of French Reggie, and I don't believe that his dog licked his wound away. Are you serious? I believe both of those things. I like, thought I went to bed that night thinking that was a pretty good funny story. You no, I, you went home and like tested. I the saw shit. the scar, or the lack thereof. <laughs> you don't know I that he really. You don't know that he really had surgery on his knee. No, I saw the little tip of the scar. That, that could have been, any, that been anything. No, Reggie, are you making make make this up? I'm not making Come this up. Come on, Jamie Mac. You don't believe this, I do. And, and I, but I, but I, I showed hundred... you the research on the dog thing. Like, fuck what I say. Like, like, well, yeah, I, there, there is. There, yeah, yeah, a, that's, that's... I don't know if that's research. I think it's more of a urban legend. Uh, let me ask a question then. Why didn't your dog lick your son's fucking wound? I think it's just because he wasn't at the right age. Nah, who well, wasn't at the right age? My, son, my dog. <laughs> what my is dog, that? How old is your he's, dog? He's, a, he's like about a year. He's a puppy-ish, so maybe he's not. You got more than one he, dog. Duke was like. The other dog has home. halitosis, and we didn't want to use his mouth. <laughs> because he might have yeah, bacteria? Yeah, there might be something <laughs> brewing in there. That, But you could, at once you realized that the shit wasn't real, you should have tested the theory on the halitosis dog, no, even, even for two licks. It, that's, I mean, no, that's something I believe would like jumping into a septic tank. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you don't want that motherfucker licking you. <laughs> no, but whether it's an urban legend or not, that shit works. Man, Jimmy Mac, I went well, to bed I'm, that night with a smile on my face. Like, no, no, like, I'm going like, to heard... show you why it even works. Why do you think that dogs lick themselves? Yeah. To, as far as like h- hygiene, personal hygiene. Their saliva has those enzymes. Guess what I don't? Yep. Guess what I don't? What? Think about this shit at all. <laughs> okay. That's the, what, what I think. I don't think <laughs> like, about this like, shit. Like, fuck what I say. Like, there's a science behind it. Jimmy Mac, I went to bed that night with a smile on my face. I promise. I was just <laughs> smiling that... 
fridge Reggie told us a funny story. I was like, yes, this guy is entertaining. I had a smile. I love having him on the show. I had a smile on my face when I was trying to get my son to convince my son to let the dog lick him because he's like, what dad are you talking about? And I'm like, this is the same dude that saw the goat, man, turn into a goat, bro. You, he got life experiences. I got to find a voodoo guy to come up. No, you don't. Yes, you do. I don't, don't want to. Maybe we don't want to put him in the house. It's my house. Yeah, I don't yeah, want we, that kind yeah, of shit in my house. What are you talking about? Who do the voicemail? Who do the voicemail? What kind of shit? We got to respect his house. What kind of shit are you doing? I don't know what this guy is into. Yeah, we got to respect his household. Yeah, he's into that. I don't want him to bring in that kind of shit around me. What shit? That energy. I don't want him. He might have Stop. friends. Stop. He might have friends that that you know what I'm saying. Like, what do you mean? Because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna laugh in his face because I won't be able to stop. Right. right? <laughs> so then he's gonna have to prove his point. Like Scooby Doo. You know how Scooby Doo? They had the guy that came and it really wasn't a bad guy. Right. They had to make it seem like it was like evil shit happening. Yeah. He gonna come here and, and fucking vandalize my house or terrorize my house or something because oh. because I have no ability to hold that back. If he starts talking that woo wahoo shit, I'm gonna have to laugh. And as like I was laughing at French Reggie that day. I would love for you to laugh at a voodoo doctor, dude. That would. <laughs> be funny because I would be scared for you but I'd be laughing yeah, at the I same would, time. I would be scared I'll, for you bro. I, would, I told you about the Creole be, bitch that I I would hug you while laughing so that we'd be to together. Be fuck with bro. I'm See, telling you. I just, I just gotta take you to Haiti man. Yeah, fuck that. We gotta take a Haiti trip. As long as I can get back man. That <laughs> just don't, back. Don't, I mean what is your cred like because if you don't you'd be like they with us and they'd be like fuck you who are you? You know I don't want none of that. You Are you guys are you connected? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um <laughs> But no, I couldn't. He I, couldn't be here. I knew. Uh, Maybe I, on the phone. No, Maybe on the fair. phone. Yeah, that's Real fair. Talk. I respect that. Real Maybe talk. on the phone. I don't know if I told the story, but when me and my homeboy Chucky drove out to fucking Seattle uh-huh. from Sacramento uh-huh. to get some some to meet some young ladies, mm-hmm. there you was told two, the story before, but I don't but know there was two. Part. There uh-huh. was two of them out that were available. Right, a white girl and this fine ass light skinned black girl. But she was Creole. She was fucking voodoo. She, we went to her house and she had. Voodoo books, like on the shelf, right. and her dad, she said, was a some voodoo priest or something like that. Okay, you ain't getting this dick. Not this one. Not this dick. <laughs> so your friend hit that. Yep. How's and I, and I, I don't. I don't know if he's ever. I don't know. I ain't seen him in a while, but <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, I listen. I'm just not doing it because I know we was just up there to smash. Right. So. When we leave, you might feel some kind of way after you just been smashed on. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna be no relationship, and. She snipped a piece of his hair off when he left. Something, said, yeah. something. I'm not. I'm. You know. Eh. I, it it wouldn't be because I would be afraid to laugh at him. I wouldn't want to disrespect him because those people really believe that shit. And I don't. I wouldn't. Yeah. I would feel bad you, about inviting think, him here and then like, laughing at him. I feel like you really kind of believe some way too because that's why you're scared. Yeah. <laughs> scared. If you. It's not. It's not him. Yeah. You making it sound like oh he's gonna sneak in your house. You gotta learn. Not sneak in my house. He's not gonna vandalize nothing. I, but but if you all of a sudden can't take a shit for a week, you yeah. know who did it. <laughs> you start having bumps in your skin for no reason. You know. Oh god. Yeah. So man, the 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 day. Can we can we have the motherfucker Skype in? Yeah, sure. Okay. The day, the day, the day though, when you recognize that adults don't know what the fuck they're doing, it's a sad day. Actually, it's yeah, actually it, a very it is sad, sad day. That's why I want, you guys had no emotional reaction. Just, uh, French Reggie's like, yeah, I remember that day. I remember I when it born, happened. I, I was born knowing that. Nah, you, you just said eleven. Nah. No, no, that was that was for um, strength. No, no, that was I was still scared. But I, as far as knowing people were fucking full of shit. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't know shit, man. I felt like I was smarter than adults in elementary school. Do you remember when they said, you guys are the future? You remember that? (laughs) Yeah, who said that? They still say that shit. No, I mean, like, I know uh, Whitney Houston had the song, but I'm talking about about when they used to say that in school and stuff. Remember they were like, you guys are the future. Well, we are. Yeah, yeah. Kinda. How'd that turn out? Because the future happened. We're it, we're it it's now. Still the same yeah, shit. Right? How'd that turn out? You like it, right? Yeah, Donald Trump you became like president. It. We were the fucking future, man. Yeah. French Reggie, you're the future, but... Yeah. Wh- what I'm not, I'm not real happy about <laughs> how it, Harambe? I'm yeah. not real happy about how it turned out or uh, for us being the future. Like we were the future at one point. But they, they fucked up, man. I think they let um they we dropped the ball. Because uh, Did we? You guys yeah, are too we, young to be the ones to drop the ball. No, no, but okay. I think it's the, the, Did we drop the Donald we, Trump age group that, no, that dropped right. the ball. Because I think when it became, you know, as far as continual education, like I I have kids that are in school. And they do shit different now. No, Jamie Mac, stop they it. Do. Same bullshit, bro. Stop they it, do. Jamie Mac, stop it. There's no future for like that. It was a it was a lie. 
They need to it change was school. It was, a, it was a lie, just like the lie that they made us believe that adults knew what the fuck was going on. Like, how, how many times did you go to an adult with all the confidence in the world they were going to be able to answer your question? And what they told you, you live with it. And you took that shit and you tried to apply it. You're like, why the fuck isn't this working? That's happened before, I'm sure, in your life. Uh, yes. But let them I think, finish, though. What you trying to say? I think that the a lot of times <laughs> I would sit. My issue is like I, I've said it before. I, I get paralyzed if I don't understand. So if you say some shit that don't make sense, I'm going to sit there and fucking meditate and try to make it make sense, into the point where it does or doesn't. And then that what happens is, in my experience, is probably two weeks later, right? And out of nowhere, I ask you. I've worked up to a point where I can't get any further, right? And then I hit you with that shit, and you're like. Motherfucker, what are you talking about? This is some shit that I said two weeks ago. Right. And I'm like, that, that's just what I, I, I can't move on past that. So I need you to make it make sense. So I think uh, that is my curse. And there's been people that have said shit that I understand. I just go on. You know, if I don't, if I don't feel like I want to understand it or I'm going to try to take the time, uh, whatever. Well, Maybe that's why I don't listen to people too. What does it, that have to do with? What, what, what were we talking about? Talking about the <laughs> <laughs> while well, adults Prince Reggie told you to go ahead and say what you had to say. Yeah, I was talking like, about your kids hey, in school. He gave me the green light. He's but he did, he did, he did he that ADHD. <laughs> um, he was talking about um, your kids being in school and now they do shit differently. Well, they now. do. Like they teach math different. Like the the concepts. Talking about they, like the math one, math two shit. Well, just the way that they go about it. And I'm like, why are you doing it that way? How's like, that changing the future, Jimmy Mike? Because they and they, they, they should teaching math. And they should have. They should have. They should have been like these other countries. And fucking put us in these like fucking brain academies. They should have fucking identified all the smart kids. Right. Take them fucking aside. They Don't do let that. them be a f- no. That's why you take AP classes. But in you high still school. are in the fucking school with all the fuck ups. But you in the classes with like I went to Magnet High School, so like the classes I was taking, that wasn't what majority of the kids in my high school was taking. Do they still have challenge program? I was in a, something called challenge. You ever heard of that? It may be called differently. What's that? It was like the gifted kids had like separate classes. This is this is not just high school. This was in elementary school. Middle I mean, school. that's what the magnet program is, kind of like. No, but right? there's no magnet in elementary school. Oh no, no, I didn't do that in elementary school. I, I started doing magnet in like eighth grade. So, I did, yeah, I did, I did, yeah, I did that in dual enrollment. Yeah, so when it, I was taking college classes, also right. But that's AP. That's yeah, that's yeah. normal in, around the country. But here yeah. in, in Georgia, they have. I don't know if it's Georgia, Atlanta. Definitely, they have a program called Challenge where. In you know elementary school, you you have to test into it, so you have to take a test, and then based on your results, you get put into a class where one class a day will be something different. So by the time I got to high school, um, challenge was like we took Latin as opposed to everybody else was taking French and Spanish. We took Latin, and you know we had a different literature class where where in like ninth grade or whatever, maybe it was eighth grade. We were yeah, it was eighth grade. We were reading like Beowulf and stuff, and that probably didn't happen to high school for like the regular classes or whatever. Yeah, I did that in in seventh grade, but I didn't, yeah, I didn't know what it was called. But it might have been seventh those grade. things. Yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. Did you go to school in Georgia? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was probably the yeah. same curriculum. Yeah, but but. I, I remember. I read To Kill a Mockingbird. I okay, but, read that but shit. I remember being the future. Yeah, you I thought you was gonna be able to impact the world. Well, I, I see that's what, you what mean they told us. It. Yeah, and then you really didn't do shit. Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> is. That's one motherfucker. That's one out of what he was the future. That's one motherfucker. Somebody. So listen, this is how that shit works. You tell everybody, but it's only gonna Three. relate. Man, to, it's only Three. gonna relate to a small few. Man. So somebody's got to run this motherfucker in the future. Check, check this out, right? I was I was watching an old the kid of where was running it now is the one that's going to be running right, he in was, the future. He was the, the son one that, of the guy that's running it now, but or it, daughter, but when his, is the one running he, it in the future. When he's in class and his fucking teacher <laughs> says, "You guys are the future," right. he's like, "You fucking damn right." <laughs> I'm just saying. He you, knows, you, but you know how not the future we are though. Like once once I realized that adults weren't shit. Like, they didn't know any of the answers to the questions, really. They were just trying to figure this shit out. That's when I started looking at myself like, wait, I thought I was smart, too. And now that I'm an adult, I know that I really, really, technically, I don't really know shit either. You don't know shit, Jimmy yeah. Mac. No, I don't. French Reggie, you're so far from knowing shit. Oh, of course. I was watching, uh, I was on But Netflix. I observe. No, no. Listen, check this out. Let me ask you a question. This was something funny that I saw on um, Joe Rogan's comment. I didn't know Joe Rogan was a comedian. Yeah. I was... On Netflix browsing And I saw one of his older Maybe like since 2006 Stand ups I can't remember what it was called Damn I wish I knew He was talking about How stupid we are And this just This just completely proved it If right now All the motherfuckers That did shit like Invent cell phones or whatever All those motherfuckers died 
what the fuck would we do? We can't. It's not like we could put the shit back together. You know how they say like, well, civilization would keep moving on. No, we would be doing shit like trying to figure out how to start, like make fire again. And then in one generation, <laughs> we'll be right back to the Stone Age. Stop. It would only take one generation. Stop. How, how, hey, when is the last time you designed a cell phone? Listen. Uh, you when is the last time you designed a cell phone? I don't know when I've designed one, but when I know people. When is the last people, time you made a car? But I know people that have been in prison. Uh-huh. Them motherfuckers invent shit. <laughs> no, no, yes, no, no. They no. fucking do. Bullshit. They don't invent a cell phone. Bullshit! I seen a motherfucker make a motherfucking microwave out of a fucking Nike box and a fucking light bulb. Right, but what I'm saying is, is that you just figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking things with the sun is not figuring shit out. I need you to make a car from scratch. Uh, listen, are you gonna give me the pieces? Yes. No, you gotta. You gotta. If you you gotta find the pieces. All you gotta do is take an old car. That's somebody. Yeah. That's somebody reverse engineer that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not how you do it. Because you, you, okay, you have a finished car. Mm-hmm. How do you make the? How do you shape the carburetor? You take it out, and then you, do it. With and it. you take it apart, and, and then you do what with it? That's all. So you're gonna use the same part. You're gonna reuse the parts. Yes. How do you get new parts for a new car? Well, then you design a machine to start making new parts. Who does, you, who's once, this, if once all you the mother, out, listen, 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 listen to what I said. The people who designed, let's just say for some crazy reason, the aliens came and took all the people that designed the shit. Stuff like cell phones, stuff like computers. So half of India and Asia. You, we're lost. <laughs> but we're there's gonna be, no, there's, there's going to be people that know how, to, how things work. There are none. Those people are gone. That's no, what I'm, but saying. I'm just saying, I know how things let's work. Say, no, I, I never designed this, it, so am I getting taken or am I leaving? No, let's say that everybody outside of this room died right now. Okay. Okay. So Every, it's just the three of us in the world. It's just us three. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> no, we <laughs> yes, we're good, no, man. Cause, no, cause it's just us wouldn't. three. Why the fuck I need a cell phone for? I don't need to call nobody. Eh. <laughs> You're missing the point. <laughs> not really. Can you build a house? Yes. No, you can't. I bet I can. No. It's not going to be the best beautiful house. <laughs> Listen, it's not going to be I'll like this one. I'll build shelter. This is what I'm telling <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. In one <laughs> lifetime, in one lifetime. So just from us to your kids and to their kids... All this shit is done. They're no. gonna her, your grandkids are gonna start the fuck over. No, check they're out. gonna be drawing cave paintings and shit. Listen, because <laughs> look, because what's gonna happen is all the, the all this my, shit is gonna get overrun by animals and shit. So we're gonna have to run back to caves or something to, to survive. Yeah, it's, that's it's, meat. That's huh? food. Nah, man. What with what? With what? With what? Spears. Bare hands. Spears. Spears. Have you seen the Edge? Spears. With fucking Anthony Hopkins. Spears. Yes. Man, stop it, man. So look, you, there was a there, that day for they me. They killed was, a fucking grizzly nigga, that, with with a fucking piece of wood. I'm done. Listen, you're just you're trolling me now. I'm not. You're, tr- you're trolling me. Listen, <laughs> that day was, was was fucked up for me because I realized that nobody knows what the fuck is going on, man. Oh yeah, but they don't want us to know. That's the whole point of the system, right? I think some people know. Nobody yeah. knows who. Who the ones knows? that know? They, they, they don't. We don't. The, they don't the, make the, themselves the, aware. The one percenter of the one percenter. They don't know either. That's the fucked up part. They don't somebody, know either. No, somebody. No, they, they had the somebody originally was left the the the, the, the knowledge. <laughs> right. Nobody. Nobody somebody was left the blueprint. That's the fuck you of it all. Nobody fucking knows. What makes you say that? Because it, how many times do you have to get told Santa Claus isn't real to, know, to figure this shit out? I bet you the Illuminati never taught their kids that shit. They don't know the shit either. They're trying to figure it out. That's why they're fucking scared. That's why they're trying to do all this shit to do popular. They have no fucking idea. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. Well, that's because they know that we're... Once we find out, they won't be, we won't be, well, no, won't we're, be controlled. That's what I'm saying. That's it, though. Because once we figure it out, we but will not just, be controlled. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. They don't. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Santa Claus wasn't real. The Easter Bunny wasn't real. Leprechauns, Jesus, none what of that shit is real. What you think is compared to the real shit? Do not, do not lump Jesus in there. It Jesus does. is real. <laughs> no. Oh, no. But it doesn't matter. You think compared to, like, like, elaborate. What you mean, like, we, they don't know shit? Like... What I'm telling you is Your dad has given you All these rules of life Or whatever But he's just guessing He got that information From other people Who were guessing Stop. This is just guesswork Yeah he, work, got, he got his information okay. from, 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 from what people taught him uh-huh. From his own observation right. And experience and right. But but again yeah. It's all just guesswork but, Like okay. you can't You can't add all the variables Variables up for your life That's why sometimes You try to follow somebody's path And it doesn't work for you Oh yeah Real talk Real talk Yeah you're trolling again. I can no, tell. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I can just look at the, the fuck you on your face you're giving me. You're giving me a real fuck you look on your face. <laughs> real talk. Right. Real talk. When Denzel gave that speech to his son and John Q. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, that wasn't some relative shit. Like all of that <sighs> shit is not like valuable. That's not like shit that means something. Here's the thing. Yeah. 
there, you can pick pieces of value out, but you have nothing to compare it to because really they don't even know what the fuck they're talking. It sounds good. I can, I can, I can tell you some shit and it's gonna sound great. So okay. if you tell I do kid, it on this show all the time. I walk motherfuckers down long ass streets all the time and it sounds great, but it's just bullshit. But this at the is, end of the day, it's I mean, bullshit. Everything is bullshit. But I told you that as a See? kid, I told you that. I, this is that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like, <laughs> like, just give him enough time. Yeah, he, every, he'll come back. Everything is no, but everything He's is like bullshit. Fucking Benji. No, no, but like, like, because this is what he's trying to say. He's trying to say like everything is bullshit. In in the grand scheme of things, everything is bullshit. Because we really should not be waking up, going to fucking work every day, and thinking this is what life is about. You know, right. somebody life, told you to though. Yeah, somebody told us and to. But at the same time, I got to pay my fucking bills, so I got to do it. It's a system that you, you. Yeah, it's a system that I live in. Right. You know, at the end of the day, I just got to do it because I got I, I want my light so I can watch the big three. You know what I'm saying? I want, you know, I want to eat my chicken nuggets. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go to work. Right. You know, so I'm going to tell my kid, go to work, get a fucking job when I become a parent. Now, do I know this shit? Obviously, no, I don't. No, no, see, but what I'm saying is why, though? Why get a job and do all that? Because if Check not, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. So, so this is the thing. He's taking me back to my childhood <laughs> I, because I honestly... I, I, I've always lived by my own set of rules, I promise you. I, like as a kid, I, I when, you, when kids, when they would say, you know, fucking do this or do that, if you couldn't explain it and make sense to me, I'm not going to fucking buy into it. And I even used if to you be the did, kid that asked why. And even if you did, that's you. I always felt like, and, and it led me to some fucked up situations sometimes where I thought, man, I should have just listened. You know, they were right. But then there's certain times that I was like, that's a my experience was totally different than what the fuck you said. So you agree with me? Yeah, I said that I was that way from the beginning. I said I, I, I was that I felt like as a kid I was smarter than adults. I I felt adults were full of shit from an early age, right. and so maybe it wasn't an. A, a, I thought they were uh, just bigger kids. It wasn't a, a moment that kind of just <laughs> took me back because I I always felt like you guys don't know shit. You guys you guys front, but when we have a conversation where you guys get mad and tell me to shut the fuck up. Because I fucking a kid. I, I, I'm a you kid. Were just a kid. But I have knowledge that makes you fucking feel some kind of way. But and you, you don't really have any, did it though, Jimmy. But right? I, but okay, you didn't I have any. I had it wasn't I, any brainy knowledge. Uh, no, but I had. It's just I, that the, the, the I was trying to get them to prove what they were saying. They couldn't. They couldn't. You know why right. the veil is thin? Right. Because they're bullshitting you right. their so, whole life. So, so what you trying to say? I think I said it. Yeah. I think I'm saying it that nobody knows what the fuck is going on. Yeah, but we know some stuff, man. We know to treat people right. You know, like we know that we know if we treat people right, good things come both of our ways. Do I they? You right. I yeah. if, if I came here and disrespected your household, would you invite no, me to your house? No, come on, it's, no, well, come I'm, on. No, that's, I'm that's, a firm believer. When I when yeah, I like, did not on. treat people right, my life was worse. Yeah, like if I came in here and say fuck you every single day, disrespected your household, came in just took, or just went you, to your you, fridge you were, and took no, your not food. Even that. Like that's if you saying. were just like, a come dishonest person, yeah, come on. You you. That's pretty obvious. But you can come here and be nice to me. I can still be trying to cheat you. I can be trying to get something out of you and you of don't course. even realize it. I can yeah, be manipulating yeah. you. But, but that's you being a fucked up person. That's so what? But, you, but your energy was good. Why did, why did it happen to you like that? Because But that's life. That's part of life. This is a circle. I need you guys to understand. The circle of life. That, that what you guys are trying to explain to me is bullshit too. Y'all don't fucking know what you're talking about. There's no good energy and it brings it. You don't know that. That's just some shit you've been told and you're willing to go with it because it feels good. That's bullshit though. The shit y'all are telling me right now is also bullshit. No. Yes, no. and they're probably some. I don't young, know what 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 am, what am I saying? Yeah, you know, that a, good energy comes back if you. I didn't say I, that. You I, said I, it. I was a, when I was a bad person. I, I, no, I have a better true. life now. No, it you know, is I believe true. in good. It the is, power of true. energy. Of you got to believe in the power. Of I don't have to believe in it because it's bullshit. You do. You just made that up. You got to believe in something. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, look though. It, like the you know Porter what? sister said. But just like the, you know, when you stop believing in Jesus, I want to give you a Jesus teachable moment though. I'm not gonna. Well, I'm just saying, Jesus, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. You know, Rod Carew is. No. You know Rock Cruz? Yeah. Who is he? He's a baseball player. Baseball player. Okay, he played matter of fact, he played for the A's for a little while, right? I think he played for the Pirates. But I think he played for the A's also. All right, maybe. Um, the thing about it is, is I think he's probably the 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 most unlucky. He's either the luckiest unlucky person or the unluckiest lucky person. Have, did you hear about his life? What just happened in his life? No, what happened? I was watching um Real Sports with Brian Gumble, and um this dude had a crazy like chain of events. So when he when his daughter was 17. His daughter died. She had some type of like bone cancer or leukemia Damn. type something, right? She was, uh, at the end, she was waiting for a heart replacement or something like that, and she didn't get it in time, and she ended up dying. Um, Rod Carew 
who was I'm not sure if he was an all star, but he was definitely a good, oh, yeah, a great he, player. No, he was an all star. Yeah, he was a great player. So um, there were there were these three white boys one day after his daughter had passed. He had started trying to do work with cardiovascular and different you know foundations. Um, one day there were these three white boys and they were just like enamored. One of the guys was was enamored, like he was just smitten. I got to meet this dude. Like I love Rod Carew. Like. I need to I need to meet him. So he met him. He came home and told his family. He was just like going on and on and on about it. Fast forward 30 years or whatever. Rod Carew is 70 years old. Um, he finds out that he, he um, well, he didn't find out. He was golfing. And luckily, he was on the first hole still. He had a heart attack called the Widowmaker. You ever heard of that heart attack? No. Yes. It's, it's called that for a reason. It's the four, it's the four artery clocker. Like, yeah, it's the everything one that is you're, like, you're going to die. Yeah. Luckily, though, he was on the first hole. So he got help immediately. Right? And um, the they say the perfect beat is staying alive um, for hands only CPR. Just throwing that out there. If that's probably what saved his life. What? Da, 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 da. Staying alive. Staying alive. That beat right there. Uh-huh. That's the perfect beat for CPR. Oh. In case someone falls out on the first hole and you're I running. know that. Yeah. So you, when you're pumping their chest, dun, pump it to dun, pretend dun, like you're John Travolta? Dun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. The Bee Gees. All right. So. This particular situation, though, he had the Widowmaker or whatever. He was in the hospital, and um, he was on the donor list for a heart transplant. Just so happens, guess, guess who dies? One and of the gives white him dudes. The white dude the, who he met years and years ago or whatever. Right. He died, and Rod Carew was first on the list and got that heart. And so now he's going, you know, he's going back and he's giving back. You think that's just ironic? Yeah, I just, you know, I just want to put that right behind Jesus doesn't exist. I want to put that right behind it. Just to but fuck just, with y'all a little bit. But that's just irony. That's just, that's a great story, man. But what's yeah. that guy do with Jesus not, doesn't exist? Everything. I don't get you don't that. See I don't, I don't no, get the correlation. That seems more like God than Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't see it? Yeah. That's just a coincidence. Nah. That's, uh, oh, why you tell me how that's Jesus then? I always say coincidence is never normal. CNN. What does that mean? Coincidence is never normal. No, I know it's CNN, and then you made it mean something. But I, what I that thought mean? CNN was a channel. You <laughs> fucked me up. I thought it was a show that I missed. <laughs> so. It's a something news network. Well, what do you? What, why do you? Why do you think it's never normal? That's weird, but okay. Coincidences are never normal. There's a reason why it happened. What was the reason? You, I, that, I don't have the answer for that, but it's not. It's not what the definition of coincidence stands for. When a coincidence happens, let me put it that way. What do you say, Jimmy Mac? <laughs> was it his accent or is he just not saying anything? I don't think he just said anything. It's, it might be the chair. <laughs> it might be the chair, but I'm I just talking out my ass. Yeah, that one, that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> but it flows well, right? It flows it well. It did it. That's why it is never normal. I thought CNN, maybe it was the accent. CNN coincidence is no, not you can what say it, you can say it a hundred times. <laughs> you can say it a hundred more times. You can make a hat out of that shit. That oh, shit yeah. still ain't gonna make it. Ain't gonna make sense. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably gonna get sued. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, that's not a coincidence, man. That's that was God. I mean, they, they, yeah. a bad they, thing had to happen for a good thing to happen. Everything God it, works in mysterious ways. Stop it. it. He does. But that's you, some more bullshit you were talking. No, that doesn't mean anything. It, it, that doesn't mean anything. It's true. He does. You I don't know what know you that. want. What do you want? No, like, what I do you want? Was, from I this? thought it was a great story, man. I just I this wanted to share thing. the story. This is the thing. Everything has its equal opposite, right? So. There's this good and bad, right? Every situation has both. You're going to have fucking, you can't have, you can't have good it without bad. Right. You can't yeah. have it all. Imagine if LeBron had Steph Curry's jump shot. That wouldn't be fair. You got, <laughs> hey, come on. Know, hey, if if LeBron has Curry's jump shot with his game, come on. What, yeah. Like, what could he not do now in the basketball? All court? I'm saying is that mm-hmm. there's everything is good and bad. Mm-hmm. So even you, yeah. you're good and bad too. Right. And mostly it, good. Yeah, well, okay. I'm, I'm going to probably say equal parts. No, I would say mostly good. Uh, okay. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to just listen. But my whole point is that. No, you can, you can no, dig deeper. No, I don't. Because, I, I, see, I don't, I don't have any right, cause, evidence. Because, you know. Because Jake Smooth's not here to throw me under the bus, right? Right, right. <laughs> so, but my whole point is I think that every situation, even bad ones, if you look for the opportunity, there's going to be there you know there's going to be some good that can come out of any situation just like good situations start out great but then they may not always be great you know what i mean like, so is it spooky that rock crew is walking around to my we now he refers himself as we what you mean is yeah. that weird no see don't don't adopt extra. no no they have they him and the family the white family they can get together and they have like 
Birthdays and shit Six like, month stuff And like yeah Oh cause you still celebrate The other guy's life He said his, he his he's heart. still here He's pointed his chest He's like he's still oh. here He's living right here Nah bro That's just an organ <sighs> Nah Hey um, yeah, it's, it's like that movie It's a pretty good story I like seven pounds But let me ask you this uh, Fuck We were talking about About Jesus not existing Oh no no oh. Different things Like superstition and stuff uh-huh. Someone told me that In the south That this is a thing Like you don't let Pregnant women aren't supposed to go to funerals. <laughs> Why? Because the spirits will attach themselves to the unborn baby. The and, and this motherfucker that I know, country as fuck, believes that their 19-year-old son looks identical because to his grandma because his gra- his baby mama at the time went to the funeral. When she Why was would pregnant. that be a bad thing? But that's the grandma, though, so obviously it's the same family. But... Okay, so then it sounds like you you're adding some sort of validity to this. Nope, sounds like some coincidence. No, no, I, I'm saying it's bloodline. I'm saying it's bloodline. It's supposed, it's supposed to look, to look like, like the grandma, that. right? But so that you guys don't believe that shit, right? No, no, I don't believe any of that. I don't believe that funeral. I don't believe a man turned into a goat either. By the way, I don't believe that that uh, French Reggie's dog licked his wound away. Hey. I don't. I don't believe. You don't it. have to believe in the man turning into a goat. I but don't you believe. Gotta understand voodoo is real. I don't believe That's Jesus is real. I don't believe that Rod Carew. This was a Jesus moment when Rod Crew got that heart. Yes. I don't believe that. It was just you a, think coincidence. a coincidence. Yeah. I mean, really, that wasn't a Jesus moment because the dude didn't. The yeah. only connection was that he fucking knew. Like he, him he, you, know many, you know how many autographs he gave people? Right. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, I mean, it'd be different. That's just if, probability. It would be different if his daughter fucking gave that guy an organ and then that guy ended up fucking giving Give it, it back, back to, to, to right. Rock yeah, Carew. Yeah. Okay, that. And and those stories aren't connected. The part about grow, grown ups don't know shit is not connected to Rock Crew. I, th- I just thought that was a dope story. I mean, yeah. it's a great story. What do you get when you cross a self proclaimed philosopher, an ADD sufferer, and a guy that likes to keep everything on the surface? <laughs> you get the No Nonsense Show. Make sure you visit nonsenseshow.com where you can link to everything No Nonsense. Just pulling up the page now, I see access to all of our current shows, access to all the archive shows that are no longer being listed in our show feed, subscription buttons for iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. I also see our social media links for Twitter and Facebook, not to mention our t-shirts and the contact us email form. Speaking of that, if you've been hearing about the Slack room and still feel like, uh, how do I get in the Slack? This is where. Leave us an email simply requesting access and we'll get you all set up. There you have it. Short, simple, and Jay Smooth's absolute favorite, sweet show business. What's up? <laughs> now back to the show. No nonsense. Um, do you do weird shit? Do I do weird shit? Do you do weird shit? That, no. Okay, do you do shit that other people would consider weird? Uh, Everybody do. Not necessarily everybody do. Like digging in your, your nose and eating it? That's weird, yes. You see, the digging in, that's normal. The eating it, that's here's, weird. Here's the thing, right? We all, we all three say that's weird, right? Do you, do you eat your boogers? No. You eat your boogers, Jimmy, right? No. Okay. None of the three of us eat our boogers, right? How is it, though, that so often you ride down the street and see somebody digging their nose and eating their booger? I've seen that a lot of times. A lot. <laughs> I've seen it a lot of times. There's a lot of dirty people in No, nah, come on, man. Everybody can't be dirty. Well, yeah, I, would, I would say that more people than not eat their boogers because I've seen it too many fucking times. Yeah, I, I saw it on the way here. <laughs> today. Yeah, today. I, I, I see the a booger. I see oh, it a lot. And to the know. point, that he was in a, well, he was in a work van. He was the driver, and it was a van full of people with him, and he would didn't give a fuck. But like he was just in there with the pinky hook, and then I think they think nothing's on it, and I, maybe they're just a finger biter by nature, and that's just the second thing they go. You're like, I'm gonna bite my fingernail because that's what I do. I'm not really thinking the fact that I had it in my nose. Maybe that's what they're. Maybe there's a lot of finger biters out there. Let me ask a question: What's so bad about digging your nose and eating it? Um, I heard it's good for your um, immune system. Why? Because it's similar to like fucking the way that they develop like antibodies. Piss? You know, because, well, boogers are all contaminants, right? It's just it, dirt that your nose yeah. hair caught. Right. And it, it mixed with the mucus from, right. that your body sent out to protect you from So kind of like, uh, you know, they get the antibodies from horses and shit. They give right. them low dosages of whatever to, right. same with that. You take that booger nugget and, <laughs> and, and, and you, <laughs> you eat that shit and it, and it not enough to really do you damage, but the fact that you incorporate that to your immune system. Isn't it weird? It a little bit. Isn't it weird that that's really not the nastiest shit that your body does? However, that's the one that we pick you, that you can't do like, oh, you can, scarlet letter. Well, what else, was, what, else, what else is there? Okay, so you're telling me you've never uh, 
took spit when it was like after you ate some candy and you drifted down as far as you could to the ground and it sucked it back up in your mouth? That's not. That's what, that's fucking disgusting. That's not. It, this, that is fucking disgusting. That's not worse than a booger. I, why? Because the spit was already in your mouth. Yeah, but it's been out in the air collecting shit. Booger's never been in your mouth. That's, now, that, well, that, yes, it is. You never, you never like uh, your nose was stopped up and you uh, went <laughs> in real good and then some of that dripped down in your mouth. Yes, yeah, you and I do I, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I and I spit it out. Well, but it was I, in your mouth, though. No, I, and you know what's you can't funny? get rid of all of it. As some of kid, the some of the residue went in. My dad used to get mad at me because I didn't. I used to just swallow that shit. Yeah, and he'd why be not? Like, no. Yeah, man, come on. You I, swallowed it before. I, I have. Yes, and, and but he used to get mad at me because he's like, "You got to spit that shit out," because he understood. I don't think that's good for your immune system. I don't. I, my stomach now, like if if I get like a little bit. That escapes down the back of my throat from that shit. Mm-hmm. My stomach is like. Yeah, but you're you gotta get a little bit because you can't spit all of that. There's residue that, that nope. attaches to. Yes, man, and it's in your mouth. So like, really, you're eating liquid boogers. But you know what I'm saying? Like, technically, is that on. your is that your weird thing? No, I was just I just because my stomach is starting to hurt. Wait. I was just wondering how 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 is it that so many people eat boogers? Like. Grown people Like I remember little kids Used to do it back in the day When we were in all school When all of us were in school And there'd be that one kid Who was a little different You know I what I'm saying I knew a little girl Who drank out the fucking gutter That don't <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I mean oh, you, you grow up And you fucking You let that shit go You know that, That's not that's But not. I know grown ups That eat But I mean I don't know them But I've seen them So it's just amazing me That there are that many of them And it's a weird thing So that's why You said you were talking About weird things I just wanted to bring that up So is that you don't do. You, That's not my weird thing. Okay. Do you do you have anything weird? Uh does somebody else have one on the tip of their tongue? I have a weird thing. What do you? Let me, let me think about mine. I used to suck my tongue. Used to. What do you do now? I stop. What you do you mean? You your suck tongue? your tongue? Like I used to like, like I don't know what I used to like hold my cheek and then like, like just suck it like like I don't like I'm doing it now. I'm trying to show y'all, but but nobody knew you were doing it, right? People can tell. Like my parents knew. So like I had a cousin that used to always. Chewing his tongue when he was concentrating on something. Is it something similar to that? Like when he was trying to, like, say, for instance, we were playing video games. I look over his ass and he'd be chewing his tongue. <laughs> well, my, my son bites his cheek, but that's that's a whole different thing. Yeah, I like so. Now, I used Bite to, like, find a cold spot in my inside. skin. Find When I find that cold spot, I, like, suck my tongue while, like, touching that cold spot. You suck your thumb and touch that thung, spot? Tongue. Tongue. His thong. <laughs> See, that accent is kicking in. That that was full on. Right. That was full on Haitian. You would find that spot and suck it's, Yeah, it. like, like, like right now, I feel like this hand is the coldest spot right now. So, so you, I hold it and then like... <laughs> so that's a little weird. Yeah, like, you know so, how some kids suck their thumb? Like, I did that. What did, what pleasure did that provide? No, I don't but, know. It's just, just something I used to do. Do you all, Do you normally have cold parts on you? No, but I, I just I find the weird... coldest, the coldest area. Like you know, you know, like there's a little colder spot. Sometimes it used to be my cheek. Sometimes it used to be my hand. Sometimes... Are you fam- <laughs> are you familiar with the cold spot? Sometimes it used to be my thigh. <laughs> I see dead people. I, don't... No, I mean, no, for, for real. Do you 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 have a? Cold I don't spot? have a cold spot on my body. It's all ninety eight point six <laughs> over here. <laughs> I mean, that's the same thing I thought. I thought that you know, is that like shit, the, the, the like you flip your pillow over and the bottom of it's right, cold? Right, you, the, he's looking for the other side of the pillow. But um, that's pretty weird. That's yeah, very yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, especially when you say thong. That's gonna <laughs> that's gonna definitely trump me. I don't. I'm still trying to figure out what mine when you is. You say you suck your thong. Uh, it was that or it was that was like, hey, what what exactly is a thong? <laughs> because I don't know how limber you might be <laughs> and what they call a thong in Haitian. Uh, but hey, so for me, I, I realized the other day when she woke up that this was a little weird. Your kid or your wife? My wife, but I do it to all of them. I watch my family sleep. Yeah. And I, I think it's, to me, um, them at their most natural state like I can study the like so if someone's alive and you're looking at them like you know details of their face and things like that I, I think that's more weird than doing it while they're asleep yeah you know but I still want to know those things I still I mean especially about my family you know and especially about my wife when that's I'm not landing. weird okay I thought it was Is it she, an admir- I feel like you admire that though because you but just love them when she woke up and it seemed a little weird to her, it's gonna yeah. feel weird. Yeah. You oh, you mean you were like, like, like dead looking in her eyes yeah. when she woke up? Like, I mean, but I wasn't expecting her to open her eyes. You, you know, was, was like just dead doing... looking at her. Or you was just like looking at her no, with admiration. Was... 
I, you got to hit her over the head, man. I don't know what the look on my face. I was just looking at her face, okay. and it was kind of you know I I was admiring it, but I don't know. Did she want to leave the house? No, but she she just opens her eyes, and then my eyes are like. I think that might be weird for me or a little off putting if I woke up and someone yeah, was yeah, yeah, definitely. staring at me, like, how long you been there, that type of thing. <laughs> but to me, it's, when I'm doing it, I never think about what's going to happen if they wake up. I just think this is my time to kind of get my study on and, and really weird. look at them. Okay, cool. That's not weird. I appreciate I do that. that. I do that with my, my, especially my kids, man. Because, yeah. like, it amazes me, like, when they're younger, how tall they look when they were laying down. Right. Like, you know, you see them standing up and they're little bitty people. Right. But they're laid out and their bodies relaxed. And like you feel, you know what I'm saying? It seems like they're just so much taller. Right. And like, I think there's a piece about them too that right. that I because they I, don't I, shut up in the daytime, but they <laughs> shut up when they're asleep. Yeah. So I And don't they know do like that. the little quirks, whatever their little quirk is, they may do it while they're asleep. You know right. what I'm saying? My wife giggles in her sleep and and poots. Um <laughs> But she don't wake herself up? Mm, not usually. That's usually I have to wake her up. Usually what I do is I wake her up just enough to where I can get some information out of her, but I don't wake her up fully. You know what I'm saying? Find out no, she's cheating. She poots. Oh, oh no, she don't wake herself up. No, like see, like Ayla, like she that'll be a dead sleep wake up. Like, whoop. Does it stink? I, she don't. She don't care. It's like her embarrassment meter is oh. going off. Like, oh, whoop, did you? My wife don't. Is, care that, is that someone? My wife don't. Did care you hear shit. that? Well, your wife is still like that with you in front of you. She does it. Oh, I, I'll, I'll take that back. No, not anymore. That's what I was about to say. Um, years, but there's only been a couple years where she wouldn't wake up. Like before, I say. Three, four years ago, she would still wake herself up like, Oop. oh, excuse me. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that happened. But I've, I've made her feel more comfortable because I just fart. I, you know, no, 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 it up. no, I just, I just. Girl, ain't number some, some gas. I just lead by example. You know, okay. I just like. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'll but I'm not going to jump. But I'm not going to jump. I'm just going to be like, hey. My dog is attracted to it when I do that. He tries to find the source of the, the toxin. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, like one of those like. Uh, Hunting dog, sniffer dog, right, right? Right, So, yeah, he's just tracking. All right, so my weird thing, you know what your weird thing? Yep. Okay. My weird thing is, okay, so I get a haircut like once a month. I'm just I'm just cheap like that. I don't I don't want to pad a barber's pocket. In the meantime, between times. Is that a widow's peak thing going on right there? Or is that just the way your hat? I think you his know, hair is just that curly. It's okay. Just, that's just a curl coming down. I didn't hat. know if you had that real Eddie Monster. No, I don't have a widow's peak. I mean, it's okay if I did, but I don't. Yeah. But anyway, um, so... What I'll do is in between, meantime, between time, I will cut my hair myself. Maybe just a trim, you know, maybe fade up the sides or whatever. What? What's wrong? Why don't you just always do that? Yeah. Uh, because, you know, the, the barber detail, I mean, I'm still from the South. We like being clean. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a certain detail that I have to have. You see me? I like just the, the, the ability. I just like going to the barber shop. Like, I like that. Just going there, talking to my barber and the people there. Right. So experience. Even, so yeah. What do you call that the on the side when you ask for that? <laughs> what is what is that? What do you, what do you say? Cyber. Is that loose though? What do you, what is that? What what is what is the description of that cyber? You like uh he's like, well, how do you want it? Do you want it a one, a two, like, <laughs> tight tight knee? I mean, it's growing. I'm trying to get a beard. So <laughs> right now. And, 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 yeah, right I'm now, sorry. Right now I, don't they don't touch first it. First of all, it's first Reggie. Why they you let this dude look at his beard? Listen, yeah, yeah, I, you have no to understand beard. it. You have to understand that that's where I, I bring this from because it's like <laughs> fat people. Fat people can talk about other fat people and as rude as they want because they're fat. I can talk about other people who can't grow facial hair because I can't. So I can't. I'm just not at the age yet. Uh, <laughs> let, let it go, bro. Let no, it go. no, no, bro. When you're in your 20s, that's that age. You're past. It, look, you're past puberty, homeboy. It's, well, it, I just got this. It's not. Gay. I literally just got this. Like I was looking at a picture of me like six months ago. This shit wasn't even there. I was just like, it's oh. not there now. It's, it's still not there. Let me go ahead and tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey, I've been, I've been you, improving. It's like you got a re, you, you got a receipt in pork chops, <laughs> <laughs> and you're only 22. Oh, Come on, that's all I'm saying. But hey, again, I, it just comes from a place. I this shit right here, I still don't connect. I'm fucking 40 something. It's just I'm telling you, I've been waiting for this shit to grow in. It is, you know, you it, can wait. You what, can keep what, waiting. They, what beard enthusiasts say is that you're supposed to let your hair grow for like a straight two-month period before you do anything to it. And that's how you can learn. Because what a lot of people do is they cut it off before it has a chance to connect. So your hair may actually connect, or it might get long enough to where the places where there are patches, they gets covered up by all the extra hair. But you won't know that if you don't give it about four months. And that's that's discipline, though, because you got to really, really wait that shit out. How long have you been letting that, that grow? <laughs> the last six months. <laughs> the last six months. Okay. But you haven't been letting it grow because I see it shaved here. 
No, but oh, he's just talking about the the the, you want the, me like, the patches. What I'm saying is what beard enthusiasts say is. Did you he try to, to twist it? He tried to twist it. <laughs> so so you trying to tell me when I go when I get my next haircut, don't even like don't line even, it up. Don't, don't line do it up. Don't touch it. Just let I'll it just do grow wild. I tell the barber not to do let that. it. Let it. <laughs> shit, maybe it's the siding. Look, oh it's shit, connected. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's from going. The, it's so coming from the front. It looks like it's just shit out here. It, yeah, it's it's yeah. it looks so different from the front, and it, yeah. it's it's very wispy and thin. And and on the side, I couldn't tell that it's it, it it's actually looks. Yeah, I'm I'm, the I'm color. getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, yeah. It's just taking its time. You know what it is? Is that that one thing you got over on this side? Turn it a little bit so be honest. Cause see, see that one that's it's like just, real long it, right that's there. Just real long, and yeah. that's what it made it look like. Maybe it was. So what? I get a lot. A lot of people try to do this in November because November is like no, no shave, shave November. Yeah, yeah. So if you start in November, everybody's supposed to accept it. I don't know, but you have to give it at least four weeks, and then see what you got. And some people say four months. I wanted to shave it and let it regrow again to see, but I was scared because I didn't want to look like mm, a I don't know if you should do that. I don't, <laughs> know, if you, I don't, I don't know if you should, you should shave that. I one, mean, man. if you waited this long, you might yeah, as well just keep, keep going. It, yeah, because yeah. you don't want to be without. Yeah. So um, the weird thing, because that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, I I'll cut my own hair in the bathroom, and I have like a you know I bought my clippers that came with like a little cape, mm-hmm. the little cape that barbers use or whatever. Right. And um, I'll put that on top of the counter and I'll, you know, trim my hair, cut the top a little bit or whatever. And then the hair goes onto that cape. But, you know, I'm lazy kind of. So I don't like going out and shaking that thing off every single time. And I don't want to put it down my drains because the hair will get, you know, clogged huh. up. So what I do is I have like a, a trash bag, like a, um, a Kroger bag or a Walmart bag. Okay. And I'll take the hair from the cape and dump it into this Kroger, this Kroger bag. Okay. Or this, this garbage bag. And then I'll tie that up and put it somewhere. I'm not going to tell anybody where just because they're trying to do voodoo on me. They know exactly where right. to get out of my hair. Right. But, um, but you don't believe in voodoo, so why would that even matter? Right. But look, though, so what ends up happening, though, is over time, this could be quite a lot of hair. And that's kind of weird, right? Is it just hair from the top of your hair, bro? See, that's the, I was going to go there next. So then like, I shave my beard, and sometimes I cut my beard down, too. And that kind of falls on there, too. So uh-huh. I put that in the bag. Uh-huh. So it, are we, is that as is that far it? south as we yeah, are? That's what I was going to say. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I manscape and I trim my body hair, and uh-huh. you know, I sweep it up off the floor in a dustpan, and it goes in that bag, too. Ooh. <laughs> so this is like this big, giant this this is is right now, hair ball. Hair. Right now, that bag is probably 75% full of hair. So you don't just change that bag every week? I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to change it probably, you know, every, every shave. couple of days, yeah. Is there a reason why you don't? Uh, just lazy. Okay, so that's, that's not weird. That's, that's not lazy. weird. That's just you being lazy. Yeah. That's fucking weird. Yeah. If, okay, so if I die and they came and like we're going through my things or whatever and they pull out a bag. You're like, this is a lazy guy <laughs> that never changes the bag <laughs> that's after he shaves. motherfucker. Look at this shit. <laughs> this motherfucker got pubic hair like, all I mean, I'm over sucking my tongue. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> that's weird as fuck. But that's, which, which is weirder? Out of all of our three, which is weird? I feel like mine is. Okay. You just like watches your, your family. That's just you, normal shit. Yeah. Yeah, you I just, think you're just lazy with you that. Lazy. You just don't want to fucking take me, a like, trip. I, 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 him him it, finding, searching out the cold spot. And it's sucking his thumb. That's weird. That is, that's, <laughs> that's, that's very a, weird. That is a little weird. That is, I don't and then even, I stopped that shit like 16. Like, like I had, like, took who me a does long that? time. Who looks for the cold spot? I don't yeah. even know how you do that. Like, you I just, don't even think I'm, I'd be good enough to, like, what what kind of sensors do you need in like your you other ha- hand? Well, you have to have a warm, the other hand has to be hot. You can't have a cold hand searching for a cold What if the cold spot is on that hand? You know what I'm saying? What then? What do you do? How you fucking do that? What if it's on your wrist? Of that uh, yeah, you won. You won. Yeah, but I you, know that. I mean, but you win a lot when it believe. comes to weird shit. That's <laughs> 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 why so I like you, dude. Because <laughs> I listen, regardless of what this motherfucker say, I believe the goat, dude. I know. Hey, hey, listen, he that's believes. Hilarious. Listen, listen, this is the thing. He says, "Oh, you know, I don't believe in voodoo." But that's the real reason why he doesn't want this voodoo dude in his house because somewhere in the recesses, okay, he knows that he may not believe, but he don't know whether or not it's real. So I believe that he believes, and I don't want that. That's around good me. enough. That's, 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 that's what it, that's what it is. That's it. It no. only works because the guy performing we it believes about in that. it. We talked about but, that on that movie. Yeah. The fucking what was it? The one with the, split, the rainbow? No, no, the split personality. Split. Yeah, the the motherfucking the the reason why they were able to have all these differences between their personalities. Is because they believe. Yeah, that's, that's it. 
That's what makes the it power fuck of you, belief <laughs> changes everything. Hey, listeners, if you can see his motherfucker's emoji face that, that, <laughs> with the fucking blank stare, yeah, that's that's what apathy. he's trying to. His apathy <laughs> face. <laughs> that's the apathy face. Yes, but no, that's that's what it is. They believe enough Stop to it. make it real. That's Stop do you understand that that's a real thing? I understand that he believes it is real. So for so him, it's real. So but therefore, for me, he, it's can, not real. he can impose that realness on no, you. He yes, can. he can. He cannot. For instance, um, a white supremacist. Can really believe that white people are, are more important than that's black people. That's not the same as fucking black magic. Exactly. It's not. It's something that's real. So he can he can impose his white supremacy on me, but a person who does voodoo can't impose their voodoo on me because they believe I don't. I bet if you let him get some of that hair. If you <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I bet you let him get some of that hair, you'd be thinking differently. Hey, no nonsense. No nonsense show, man. This is Lord Snooty, man. Hey, no nonsense. This is Lachey. This is Shake. Hey, this is I, Carol Skies. I really enjoy the show. Loving the show, man. I love the show and really been enjoying the show. Laugh my ass off, man, as usual. Keep them days like, you know, they they, they, they keep me um keep me afloat. It, it, it's real smooth. I like y'all show, man. Keep that shit going. And I, I love the show. Love, you know, you guys' insight on things. Really enjoy the show. I listen to y'all all the time. I'm at work every day. If I can't get a new episode, I'll do a old one. I stay talking back to the phone, talking back to the radio. Definitely love all the controversy on the show. So I've been trying to figure out who the dude is on the show that's kind of ignorant. You know, sometimes y'all be going a little extra hard on Jay Smooth, though, man. I ain't no smoothie. I ain't, let me say that first and foremost. I ain't no fucking smoothie or no Jay Smooth sympathizer. However, my dog do be talking some good shit sometimes, man. Jay Smooth. Oh, Jay Smooth. I've been on this bitch crying, man. Jay Smooth been on the road, man. Uh, the sound quality. The sound quality of the show, man, it's always on point. I, I listen to a lot of um, a lot of different podcasts and some um some um uh, you know. But y'all stay 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 sounding real good. Y'all been planted yourselves into my regular rotation of podcasts, man. But y'all have replaced quite a few of my podcasts in my top ten rotation, man. Uh, much love and respect to you guys. Yeah, but I love y'all show, and yeah, I'm gonna continue to listen, y'all. Love the show again, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. Keep that shit up, man. I love the show. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Peace. What's better than us coming up with questions? Uh, having your own personal voodoo, man. <laughs> Man, stop! Get off that shit! I don't believe it. Why? Why is it such a big deal that I don't believe it? Because I believe you do. Why do you believe? Because that? I believe you're a little afraid. Okay, so you think that you, you don't? You're not afraid of things you don't believe in. Okay, so here's the thing, right? So you're saying that had I said yes, he can come in, and I had opened him with uh, welcome with open arms, and I would have that, that would prove that you're not that you don't believe in that's this. That's white people shit, man. No, that you no, don't that's believe. white people shit. No, that is white. That's pe- how you do white it. people say uh, spend the night in this this haunted house overnight. Then you prove you. No, why would you go to that because shit? Then just say you that's believe just it. That's stupid. Then just say you believe it. Then <laughs> <No>. <laughs> if you're not fucking, I'm not going to spend the night in a fucking abandoned house, uh, abandoned uh, insane asylum right. that's been abandoned for fifty. Why not? Because it's just stupid. Why? What's in there? What are you afraid of? <laughs> the walls. I mean, this house. This house was empty when you first moved into it. it. Was. You stayed in. You stayed. Yeah. You stayed ever since. You never left. It was so, built in 2008, though. So my my whole point is Not that 1808. Some, some empty houses are okay to be stayed in, <laughs> right? But if it was okay, if this house didn't have any electricity, I would not spend the night in it. But it's not about the electricity. It's about the fucking crazy people that used to live in that insane <laughs> asylum and their fucking spirits. That's what it is Prince about. Red, you believe in that too? That you wouldn't spend the night in insane asylum because you're scared that ghosts would get you or something? Where? In, what? A, in, a, in, a, in an old insane asylum where they used to torture people and kill them. And yeah, it, I wouldn't stay there. No. Why? The power of energy. The who? The power of energy. See? Oh my God, you guys. And listen, I believe. So therefore, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I already know, you know what I mean? Look, they, they got get me because uh, I believe, yeah. Man, wow. Okay, so listen on the Friday show, as you know, what we do is we allow our Slack listeners to uh, give us submit topics or questions for us. We try to run through them. You know, it usually doesn't go that way, especially when they're interesting ones. So this week we have ten or eleven here. Uh, let's see. The first one is pick one: one year in jail or to marry your ex. You must make a choice. So you either get one year in jail or you have to marry your ex forever. Like, well, I mean, because that's the thing. I think you know, what's the time frame on this X thing? Yeah, see, and that's the problem, listeners. You got y'all gotta y'all gotta make sure you put get all the holes out of your questions, right? Because our job is to figure out a way to find a put bust a hole in it real quick. And that one was like an easy hole because 
it's only a year. If you're telling me I got to spend the rest of my life with her, right? Oh, no, no, I'll take the year easily. That's not even a. If you, but now if I can just marry her and divorce her like that fucking Britney Griner chick, right? You, oh, did you hear about that shit? Right? No. Okay, so she's lesbian. No, oh, yeah. she beat the shit out of his wife. They, they, well, they, they, they were fighting. Let's no not way. Say, she's a lesbian. No yeah, way. Let's, let's not say that they. <laughs> the beat bitch the, dunks. Right, and right. she sounds like a fucking baritone. Right. Um, but yeah, she. Is she still in the league? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I yeah. just saw her dunk the other day. Yeah, so so check this out. So she was Ugliest. dating. Right? She was dating her teammate. They were engaged. Oh, teammate. Yeah, Uh-oh. they they got married right after the fucking domestic violence shit. Right, they decided to get married. Oh, Ray Rice the, relationship. The the girl had in vitro baby twins. Right. What? So so they she got pregnant. What kind of story is who's this? the dad? Is it like, is it like Bernie Griner. You don't get to know who the dad is. Brittany Griner's the dad. Yeah, it's that, like she a- wore the suit in the wedding, so I'm gonna say that's the <laughs> dad. You know, and then but she divorced her and it filed an annulment like 30 days later. Guess what? That bitch has to ch- pay child support. I was like, hell yes. yeah, yes. I was like, that is. At first, I felt some kind of way. I was like, oh, the poor girl. But I'm like, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, fuck her. That's that's how that shit goes. That's fucking equal rights. Yep. You wore the suit. Yo, dumbass, want to be a man? Yeah, you take that, take that, take, take that. Take that L. Is it because is she is she paying child support because because she, she wore the suit or because she's making the more money? No, the they're money. both in. They're, they're both, both in the league. I'm pretty sure Brittany Ryan is probably but making. But it doesn't better. matter. She's not their biological. But she was with. They were married. She signed a birth certificate. She was married when they fuck. She don't raise them. She don't have any part in raising them. But she was the husband or the married spouse at the time when she got pregnant. On that hook. If a girl wanted to be real petty, she'd fuck with a dude now. And then like, and make them call her dad. Like, you're not even a real man. You can't be the dad, Brittany. Fuck we'll take that check. Though. Papa Brittany. But yeah, pass that check on. We're not going to get married. We're going to live that's in. That's just, that's just, just right. In, so just, they got like, divorced real fast, then. They, yeah, that's not even a divorce. It was a moment. moment, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? And she still had to pay. What is that? I don't really know that's what like, that is. It's, it's, less than six months, I think. Yeah, it's like, basically, we're just saying it never happened. It's almost like, it's almost like a mulligan, a do-over. So is that what Kim Kardashian did with Chris Humphries? I think so. Yep. Yep, I think so. Um, so I'm picking... I'm not going to jail, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking marry your ex. If I like her once, I'll like her again. Nah, I don't know about that, but I'm not <laughs> going to jail. I'm giving you the apathy face, I think. I'm trying. You're not. I'm trying. You're not. Oh, I'm y'all trying. had that many bad exes? I never really Your eyebrows are raised like you're surprised. Exes. You're All neither right. lowered. But I, it, now, it is, I am surprised that you would pick your ex that... Uh, Over uh, going to jail? Yeah. Like, I'm dude, not like, built for jail, man. Yeah, what kind of girl was that bad that you would rather go to jail? Yeah, you haven't lived long enough. Yeah, I guess I haven't. There, you know, let, let one get a hook in you. Let the wrong one get their hooks in you. I'm not built. So for you jail. spend a year in jail instead of da- jail. Jail? Are they, do- are they oh, saying yeah, jail oh, yeah. or prison? See, because jail I think or it's prison. Different. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> jail is just. Like I think cop? you just gotta, you know, too, just, many, too many holes in this fucking question. You just gotta just. You guys gotta chill. Get over the. You get over the boredom. Yeah. Let's, let's move on since there's so many holes. Next question says: If you were involved in three different relationships and they each gave you something that made you feel the way one complete woman. No, they made you feel they were one complete woman. The first woman had a great job, great sex, including head, can cook, never bitchy, but smoke crack from time to time. The second one had a great job, sex, and the, oh, great job, but the sex and head sucked. Does not drink or smoke and does not know how to cook. The third one had no job, no education, great sex and head, does not cook and is pregnant with your baby. The first one. No, you got to have them all. No, no, no. Which one would you pick? The first one. I, if you had to make a choice, who would you choose for your wife? You didn't let me finish. French Reggie always says an answer before we get done. So he's the only the only problem with the first one is she, she moderately do cocaine. Moderately. No, no, not cocaine. Crack. That's, 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 that's just a different form of yeah, cocaine. Yeah, but like, can we call it crack though? We can't call it cocaine. Oh, we're talking wanna, the 80s I'll, crack? No. Oh, we're I, talking that good cocaine like like the people with CNN take. Like, what no. are they <laughs> crack? What do they call janitors now? They don't call them janitors anymore. They're like custodians. No, they're not even custodians no more. They're like um, custodians. technicians of some sort. Like, um, you know, some, technician. something like that, right? Okay. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, they do, because this dude I was talking to the other day, he washes dishes at Wellstar, but he gave me a couple, he gave me some name. Right. <laughs> that it's, would it's, sound so professional. Yes, and so that's the thing. We have to professionalize crack. Crack right. was a fucking... So you're picking one too? Yeah. yeah. All she does is some cocaine. Uh, time to time. She's not even a crackhead. Crack, yeah, come on. That's would, nothing. First off, if she's a crackhead, she still might win. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> you don't want to watch that. She's got fucking good. good sex and good head. And she, she got a job. Wait a minute. 
She's the only one with good sex and good head, right? No, the third one is too, but the third one has no job, cannot cook, and got yeah. no education. See, yeah, I couldn't no be with a woman with no education because I can't yeah. talk exactly. to her. Yeah, you can't stimulate So three is out. just think of how easy this she would be able to manipulate. No, but I can, I can manipulate the good ones. I know I'm just saying, but the dumb ones. She you want a little like challenge. But, was, but you want a little challenge. I think it's definitely between one and two, though. But Why damn. two even, two two can't give you shit? Sex and head sucks. Fuck, man. Well, and, the only thing two does is a she, job. Don't, she don't smoke crack. No, the only thing two does is oh, she got a cook job. either. Yeah, fuck, I gotta oh, go two, with the crack. Yeah, 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 that was too easy. Fuck it. Okay, number three. Can a man who is insecure with his lady not be insecure in a threesome with his lady? Yes. As long as there's two <laughs> ladies. Another girl. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> right. Like what? As long as there's two ladies. And, and they said and they're it, talking about a devil's threesome. Well, and then, then <laughs> <laughs> even then, I think I've seen guys um, overreact or get insecure. You know what I mean? Yeah, because okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let, let me let me dissect this a little bit more. Can a man who is insecure with his lady? Right. Like so. so what does so that you, mean? So that means you don't trust her already. Oh. You already got trust issues with her. So you might think that she might go gay after that, huh? So I think this is the thing, right? I think if you were in the situation, Fuck them and if bitches, you and man. if you were already. Tripping about where her loyalties lie or how much you can trust her, and then might don't make it, and then she and then she <laughs> blacks out and forgets you're there, right? Right, like you're like it started off as a threesome and then turned into a twosome, right? And then you're just kind of like, oh, okay. what do I do with my dick? What I yeah, where am I at? You know that I can see a guy feeling insecure. You gotta rape him. Like, I think that um, if you're insecure with your lady, the relationship probably isn't gonna last anyway. Just fuck them two pussies, and you know the yeah. relationship's probably gonna end anyway. Well, see, I think if you are, then you, you're if that's the case, and you start to feel that way, then you just go to the other pussy and show it, show it more attention, and make her insecure. Flip it. Flip no, it. Sound like work. Flip it. No, you work that pussy. <laughs> All right, John Witherspoon. All right, uh, let's see what the next one is. Is it true that men cannot win arguments with women? What? What the fuck is? How the fuck get rush these questions? Women. Is it true that men cannot win arguments? I win arguments a, all the time. Yeah. I, I think a lot of men win. Uh, yeah, we, we, men. we usually win. We just let them think that they won. And they say the same thing probably. <laughs> I think they do. I think they... You think they let us win or they no, say I think, that? No, I think they say that. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know that every dude is like me. You know, I can't get... you a real nigga? I'm, uh, I don't like that word. I don't not the nigga word. I don't like the real idea because that's that's often misconstrued as being somebody who's a shooter or you know a thug oh, yeah, or something. Because you because you're serious. Like you you speak about the facts. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah. Trying to say. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, you speak about the facts. I don't know that every dude is like me. A lot of dudes probably always right. No, just speak about the facts. Are willing are willing to to put it on the line. You know, some dudes will talk some shit, but then when their girl challenges them, then they like kind of back down. No. They ain't never been me. Right. And I mean, you know, my wife can attest to it. You know, I'm not. I'm sure people can say, "Oh, you're just being arrogant. You're being a massage." I'm pretty sure your wife respect that about you, though. She don't have a choice, though. That's yeah, that's, <laughs> that, what, she's doing. that's what it is. It's like it's not. It's but I'm not, pretty sure that's one of the reasons why she even said yes to you when you propose. It's possible. So I don't know. I can't speak for every man that, that gets in an argument with a woman, but I mean, my wife is right sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this. Early on, like my first marriage. Yeah. I used to lose like fucking every argument. Right. That's because I think she knew I had ADD before I knew I had it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm dead ass serious because she would switch it up, right? Like mid conversation, and and me, I don't give a fuck. We, I'm just gonna start arguing about whatever. We're, <laughs> the next thing, right, right. But, you know, you're making a point, and I don't, you know. And I swear for goodness, I would get to fucking done arguing, and I'm like, why is this my fucking point? How am I behind? How is this my mantra? I don't even give a fuck about right. this. This was not the conversation, and that. Honestly, train me to be better at far as those situations where someone changes a word in a conversation and it changes the whole dynamic of the conversation to talk about something else. Right. So, yeah, I used to get my ass kicked and I would be like, uh, I guess I'm wrong. And, 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 you know, in my infinite wisdom as, a, as an older, older man also, I think, <laughs> I think I've gotten to a place where I don't need to win every argument anymore. I like, it's not necessary. No, but I think that... For me, I don't take score. It's facts, right? I'm not going to bow out if I know I'm right. Right. I'm not gonna just go. Oh, even I'll argue to try to help you understand. Right. But I'm not gonna just say no if I know that I'm fucking right and you're wrong. 
All right, so the next question is, when a black man says he does not have the support of black women, why not demand the support like the black woman demands it from the black man? Oh, is that what they do? <laughs> Hold on, say that is again. that what Hold they on, do? Say that he question says, again. When a black man says he does not have the support of a black woman, why not demand the support like black women it's demand not a it from real the black man. man? If you're a real man, the woman will automatically support you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the other part of that question. <laughs> right, me too. Is, what, is that what women are doing to black men? And has that ever worked? I don't even think that they're doing it. We tune that shit out. Don't they know that? I would. I would. A- I would be interested to find. I, I w- where are these black women at that are holding these black men to these such high lofty standards? Yeah, because we're shit. We're not. Why like, shit? I mean, like we're like doo doo. You know, like, we're not I don't, like the shit. I don't. I don't see it happening. I don't see yeah. these. We need to I be see, better. I see most women complaining. Right. Yeah. About some shit, a uh, trifling ass nigga did to them. Other than saying. I'm not fucking with these niggas until they get their shit together. Right. I don't. I, you know what they? I think that people think pussy is power or whatever, and they use that to carry out everything else in life. But honestly, once you get past the pussy is power thing, like we've figured that one out. Yeah, I mean, we, we figured that one out. You're gonna have to give it up eventually. And right. Then once you do, <laughs> yeah. the fucking cat's out the bag. The right. fucking the shine once you make is off. Yeah, yeah. Let's make you do that shit. It's right. over. <laughs> once once we realize that this fucking dick got some power too, right? And so <laughs> and you realize that power, and we can punch with our our power. Like your power doesn't punch; it just has to hold on for dear life. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell this person is talking about. You know, it, it, it's funny because you know we stopped putting the names. So once I copy it over, I don't actually look at who it is from. It's probably best for them. Some of these are embarrassing to say. Well, this particular one, I'm interested in knowing what type of relationships they've been in and how successful those relationships have been. They just said they've been in the relationship where they had to do that. Right. Still. Well, first of all, if you demand something from a man... Yeah, you're not dating a man. You're dating a little boy. Not even a boy, a little boy. If they go for it. For instance, okay, so there was one thing my wife demanded of me. She She wanted to get married. That's not a that's that's a so, whole different thing. But that was ultimate. It was a, it was you, a demand. You, there's a there's a background story to that, right? Because you were married before you said yeah Fuck yeah that yeah. Shit. yeah it, so. it was a demand of, of of sorts, but I don't think that's what this person is talking about. I think this person is talking about like, um, I wanna I wanna uh, a guy with a good job and he got to do this right, and he like, can't have no kids. Fuck out of here. You know he can't be have been married before. <sighs> yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I think the majority of people who think like that aren't. In successful relationships or, or at any relationship Yeah I don't know um, Alright so the next one is uh, Do men understand Why women get upset When they see a black man With a white woman Jealousy <laughs> do, Okay Do men understand I never understood that Because I don't feel shit When I see a black girl With a white dude I don't care That's what, it doesn't that's what, bother I'm, that's me. what I'm saying like, I'm like never. good for him I'm actually happy For the white boy I'm like finally You getting some fat ass Or some Collard greens and some spices in your food. I've never felt disrespected. <laughs> I've never felt disrespected, and I know I'm half white, so this might not be the question yeah, for me. White, yeah. But I've never felt any kind of way about. Well, it. he's 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 the darkest dude. Yeah, in the he's room. The, he's, and he's like, and he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't trip. Yeah, it, I think that um, I think black girls. I think this is what it is because I did ask a, a girl that before, and she said it's the black crab syndrome. They're like, oh shit, this nigga's about to make it. I <laughs> know uh, it's more like. <laughs> It's like she she had she made a couple of points. She made like a point like the thing is about um with with just black men period. We like first of all just a lot of us are unsuccessful. So that takes out a good portion of us. A lot of us are gay. So that takes out another good portion of us. Yeah, okay. So now when the white girl comes and take you it's like this, they're just feeling like they have less options. Here's what I hear when you but, say that, French Reggie. I know, I know, you didn't say that. Yeah, yeah I didn't say Here's that. what I hear when I hear the woman you're talking about say that. Uh, up your game, bitch. Yes. Up your game. Maybe give some head. No, up your fucking game all around. Head isn't enough. I know, Fuck but that. I'm just saying. Head isn't enough. White girls give head. Yo, no lie. The first reason why I decided. And from, even, from what black girls say, white girls give head better. That's what I'm saying. Thank you with the good the, hair. The, the, the first reason, the first time I even even tried to attempt a white girl is for the head. I was just like, because I used to, like, when I, when I was, when I first met girls, they didn't want to give head for some reason. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Then I just fuck white girls because white girls was down to give head. And that's why I started fucking white girls. I literally started fucking white girls because they was down to give head while black girls didn't want to give head. They were holding you to a higher standard. <laughs> uh, up your fucking game, black women. I'm tired of hearing this shit. Yeah. But no, I don't, I, don't, here. I don't understand why um, they, like I said. It's no, no black men understand. We don't understand except Umar Johnson. That's the only nigga to understand. Yeah. 
the rest and Israelites. Of, the rest of us we don't understand because because you need to up your game. If it's if it's most if most of us are gay, a hundred percent of the dudes in this room aren't gay. A hundred percent of the dudes in this room. What did you what were the other characteristics? It's like. Some a lot of us are don't have jobs. Okay, yeah, just unsuccessful. One hundred percent of the people in this room have have, have a future. You know what I'm saying? Have have ambition. We're uh, we're we're non gays. So if you want to get with one of us, you got to up your fucking game. Yeah, and the funny thing is when I meet, like I said, some girls that I've I've tried to date or I made some moves for a date, they just were intimidated in dating me. They felt like I had too much going on for me, so they was just like, "You too." Yeah, because they ain't, ain't them is yeah. old, ain't nothing, bitches. And yeah. he was royalty from Haiti, so like they're yeah. like, "What the fuck?" And they know that they, you know, uh, and a white girl will be ready to be like, "Oh man," the, the, she's yeah, like, "Even amazing. if I ain't nothing, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, white." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I guess. I'm, start, I'm starting. I guess because I because I did like I had met that. I met a lot of girls telling me that shit. And even older girls, girls that are like 26, telling me that shit. Tell you what shit, which part? Like, like I'm too good for them. I'm like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Here we like, go. No, straight up. <laughs> no, I, I, I can see you probably get that a lot. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. That's what to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just fucking with you. Royal Reggie. I've, that, I've heard that a couple times. I hear you, man. Keep doing it, man. All right, next question is, uh, what is this thing about having multiple women? Isn't it true that men would rather have the lady in the streets who does minimal freaky shit at home and have the free- mistress who does the remaining freaky shit that the main won't do in secret? What? Fuck no. I want my wife to do all of that shit. Yeah. Right? No, we, I mean, we don't want to have it divided. You know, now if you're talking about having two, I'll take two. To yeah. do both. You right. know, what I mean, I don't need one to be lacking and the other one to be, you know, the, the freak because that's, right. that's not going to work in the room. So if I got one that's a prude and one that's a freak, and then, so are we talking about like cheating? Like these, they're in different houses, or is this something that I can handle as an adult and we can both live together and we all do this shit as a like a group? I think I know who asked this question, and this was on the back, the heels of us talking about sister wives once again in the Slack room. I don't understand why I'm so mis- unfucking stood. Uh, because what's your people th- think what's, what's your people take on think it? sister wives is the same thing as swinging. Why, why am I so misunderstood? I, I have to keep explaining this shit. Don't, sister wives is a whole different thing. Okay, here, look here, and I'm gonna call sister. you. I'm gonna I'm call y'all bitches, cause God damn it, <laughs> this is what you bitches need to understand. All right, bitches, <laughs> it's fucking easier for me to go out and just cheat on my wife. That's fucking simple. Yeah, that's easy as fuck. All I gotta do is find a, an excuse to have some time away from the house and go do it, and I can go get me some some pussy on the side. Right. If sister wife was only about fucking. I would just rather go get a fucking side piece. Right. It's easy. I don't got to worry about the stress. I ain't got to invite no new motherfucker in the house. I ain't got to deal with all their quirks and ideas. And if, if they got kids or whatever, I don't, I don't have to even challenge. None of those challenges matter, right? It's difficult as fuck to manage two, two, a, two, a three-person relationship. Right. That's difficult. That's work. So if you really believe that being a sister wife is, a, is about men getting more pussy, you're fucking retarded. You are thinking way too good about your pussy, I think. Way It would be so much more simple for me to go out and just get me a bitch on the side. I, of course it would be because there's, and it would be perfect for that broad to know her lane. Right. And just give up the fucking pussy when you saw her. Exactly. She's not expecting anymore. Exactly. But that's, that's simple. That's simple. But that's not what no one's talking about. No but, one's I, so, about but I don't ever want to hear that shit again. Listeners, if y'all write into this show about Sister Wise or if y'all in the Slack room, about, don't, don't give me that shit about, oh, you just want some extra pussy. No. That, that, that's simple. We can fix that shit tonight. I can fix that shit tonight. I go on Tinder or Plenty of Fish or whatever the shit, Jay Smooth, quote unquote, used to go on. Plenty of Fish. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> is that it? Isn't, isn't it true that men would rather have a lady in the streets who does minimal freaky shit at home. I don't think that anybody, I don't, that. I don't think any guy wants a minimal freaky chick. I don't want a lady in the streets either. I want somebody who knows how to compose themselves. You know what I'm saying? Be mature and when we're out, you know, conduct yourself with some sense, but you ain't got to be no non freak in the streets. What, what a lady in the streets, like what does that mean? I don't she's, know. I want so my wife dope. to not wear bra and under her, her tank top when we go out sometimes. She just, fucking just, drives just, a getaway car? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is, what do you want a lady to be in the streets? Elbow gloves, right, like, like, like with a cigarette, with the the, the holder, the long holder. <laughs> like, uh, no, I don't want her in the streets. How about if my wife ain't in the streets at all? I don't need. I don't need my wife in the streets. I don't need my any of my ladies in the streets. Put it that Didn't way. Ludacris have a line like that. I didn't want a lady in the street with a freak in the bed, some shit. Like hey, that. no, yeah, was that, was, that wasn't an Usher. Ludacris said it though. Oh yeah, yeah, but I. I uh, I think that came on the heels of a sister wife conversation, if I remember Probably correctly. Did. All right, next question is, do men feel less manly when a woman... What is going on with all these men-women questions? 
Do men feel less manly when a woman takes up normal, typical male responsibilities, i.e. taking out the trash, handyman work around the house? Have you ever corrected a woman for an act she did that was meant for a man to handle? Um, I don't care if my wife takes out the trash. She, she doesn't have to, but I don't, I don't get offended. I don't feel like less of a man if my wife decides to fix the garbage disposal. I, I mean, I'll be like, that's weird, but... I, any handyman shit, I don't give a fuck. You, can, you, my wife, she kills the spiders in my house. Oh. I mean, like she's the official spider killer. That's her job. Yeah, That's I feel like job. when you reach marriage, just this is a team thing now. My it's thing, not even about like I do this and you do that. My thing would be this: if somebody was like, "Yo, uh, could I speak to the man of the house?" or you know that, and she's like, "No, nah, you're not here." But what? What's up? You know right. what I mean? And and she just wants to that look, bother I, you? If she was like. Yeah, like if it was she was making decisions and not fucking include me. Okay. Yeah. Hell the fuck yeah. Uh, I need to don't don't just get them doing everything and like <laughs> no. That's my job. I'm the, I, I got veto power, right? right. And don't if you don't you pass some laws and, right. and the shit didn't come across my desk. Right. I that's the problem. <laughs> Have you ever corrected her for something? Um I can't remember ever correcting my wife. I don't think I've ever corrected her. I think um You've, you've I think we had it. No, we had it. No, we had a um, combo. It was a, one of the workers, you know, that was doing something on the house or whatever. I said, send him my way. Right. You know what I mean? If if he's got issues, whatever, I don't. You not, you're not going to be the front man for us. Right. Send him my way, and I'll I'll take care of that. Yeah. Uh, I I mean, coming from an island like Haiti, French Reggie. Do you guys? I think you guys have like stricter laws on what men and women do. Is that correct? Or you- yeah, the culture. So do you do you have jobs that are just never a woman's job though? Like, what's a job that's n- never a woman's job? Like fixing things in the house. Okay. Yeah. So her her vibrator breaks. You gonna fix that? <laughs> I might buy another one. <laughs> no, nah, fi- that's dumb. You know, what I mean, like if you know how to fix the shit, fix the shit. By all means, Don't get wait your ass me. up in there. Right. Like, I was. I would want to. I, I would want to like. Teach her a few things Like I would I'm like No she's about to be teaching you You the one that don't know How to do the shit this guy. Oh okay I'm talking about like Yeah Like, like okay. I, I know me one day like Well I'm a, I was thinking more of my daughter Hey professor know, Professor more, I was thinking more of my daughter crazy. I was thinking more of my daughter But I guess if my wife doesn't know I guess I'll show her too So like, Change your tires There was a you know There was saying? a lady like, I don't want another nigga To change your tire when If your tires get stuck in the highway Another nigga What about Okay would you let a lady Change your tire if you were I like, better know how to change my it, tire. No, it's, it's not about better let's knowing. Let's say you were dressed up like in some nice shit, like a tuxedo, and a woman right. came and she was just like in some some sweat pants, and she was like, "I'll do that. You look you look too nice to change your own tire." I'll do it. Hell yeah, I'll let that girl change, change my tire. that tire like a motherfucker. <laughs> but I'd be like, I sure do appreciate that because I didn't want to get dirty. But Thank you want you. some dick, right? I mean, come on, you can have. But what? What was that? What was the question? As far as you're corrected her. You were about to get into something. Mm, no, I was going to say about as far as the, the trash. And I think that ah, if you want to take the trash out, but I think, yeah, let me take the trash out. I mean, yeah, I will. My wife took the trash out the other day. And yeah. I was like, man, eh, well. Right. I'm not going to mm-hmm. chase you and be like, no, no, you can't do that. No, right. Don't, I don't want her opening doors for me. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't I don't know. I think I would allow her to, but I wouldn't. I, I usually grab it first. Right. Yeah. And, and matter of so, fact, I've, I've kind of trained... That's a weird word, trained. I've kind of conditioned them. Or manipulated to, them. To stand in front of the door and wait on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if they grab it, I'll grab it from them before they exactly. can it. So, they, so you, they, won't, you won't let her do it. You'll so now her. they both, my, my daughters and my wife both, all, they go to the door and kind of just stand there. They give me a they second. Expect it. Yeah, they give me a second to catch up to them. And of course I always do. That's, uh, what's, that's all right, what's up. Uh, next question is, is telling someone they're acting like a bitch the same as calling them a bitch? If yes or no, I got to say bitch like that. Is telling someone acting like a bitch the same as calling them a bitch? If yes or no, does that same rule apply to telling someone they aren't a man or woman enough to do something? Um, I, I'm going to just say for me, there's really no difference if someone was like, man, you acting like a bitch. Well, you just basically called me a bitch. Yeah, you are. You are. You, I mean, yeah. I told a girl before, um, J. Cole said that shit and I used it. I was like, I ain't calling you a hoe, but that was a hoe decision. I told a girl that before. I said it exactly like that. I ain't did you calling rap, you did a you rap hoe. it? No, I was you should have rapped it. Did you give box. him credit? 
Did, did you give a footnote? <laughs> was he in your footnote? I did give him credit. Okay. I was like, right, I did give him credit. Don't plagiar. Don't plagiarize yeah, I, did give, I did give him credit. I was like, just like Cole say, I ain't calling you a hoe, but that was a whole decision. I'm, I'm not for I that. Did, you, I did say that. Is, uh, is that me calling her a hoe? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm not for that. Um, You can't use this word on, on around but, me, bitch. The bitch word, I'm sorry. You're, but, but if, if you, you say, act like a bitch. Oh, right. Right. But see, if you say, if you're acting, if I'm telling you, you acting like a punk. You acting like a pussy. Right. You acting like a scary ass. You act. I'm calling you all of those things. Whatever right. I'm saying, you acting like. Right. At this moment in time, I'm not. Okay, so are you permanently one? Right. No. Have you ever called your wife a bitch ever? Nope. Or any girl you've been with? Yep. Did she challenge you and you changed it to? I was. I've just said you acting like a bitch. No. I have. <laughs> it depends right. how upset they are. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I actually um, denied it. <laughs> but I heard you say no, no. She, me. You, you, she mouth. She heard me mouth it. She saw me mouth it. Get the fuck out yeah, of here! Yeah, you said it under your breath. No, I was in the car. She was out the car. You I was, a bitch. And I was, I was like, you a bitch. You should have like, rolled the windows down. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. No, it kept going. Nope. Yeah, same thing. If you call somebody, you say somebody they're acting like a bitch. You're saying they're a bitch. Yep. Get, get over it. Be that bitch. Uh, next question. Simulate giving your son to talk about women. Hold up, say that again. Simulate giving your son the talk about women. Just like my dad did. How's that? Be safe, have fun, and don't treat people the way you want to be treated. Straight don't up. treat them the way treat you want to be Treat people the way you want to be treated. So if you like being raped, ah, ah, get that rape on. Well, thank God I don't like being raped. I mean, but you, you, he didn't know that when he told he you He didn't that. give you like any God. That's the worst <laughs> fucking dad son talk I mean, ever. He, he might have wanted to check on you on like, how you like to be treated before he tell you that last one. You know what I mean? Because you might be a little twisted. You know, you're be like, freak like, fucking. But dad, I like to choke myself with my belt when you're not looking. <laughs> That's okay, son. Just treat him like you like to be treated. <laughs> That's a pretty quick story, man. No, straight up. Like my dad, like my, my dad didn't like, because... I feel like with guys, you already know they're gonna try everything, you did, know. So he's like, "Did he? Is he the one that that gave you the idea that that you're God to women and you need to teach them something?" No, nah, no, nah, that was just Reggie. That was all me for real. <laughs> that was just all no. Me. Like this is when I, did, I think God. It, tried, I, I didn't tell you y'all. The the, I didn't tell y'all the story. Why made me believe that? No, it's because I fucked the girl right, and then like she cried. No, she didn't cry. She but said she loved you. <laughs> that was that was because I, I fucked You're her. You're Jake's movie his story, man. No, no, no. Um, I, I I realized like she fucked me just because she thought she had to. She just like she was like, let me give him. <laughs> like I realized she she fucked me because she was like, if I don't give him pussy, he's, he's gonna, gonna go fuck me? another. No, like I'm just gonna leave her. And I actually liked the girl at the time. No, that, no at the time I like I, I liked the girl. Can I actually stand by for a second? I don't want to Jake smooth you. I want I don't I want to I want to confer <laughs> with with Jamie Mack real quick. Uh huh. Is that rape? If a woman feels pressured into having sex with you because of an outcome or because of some other situation, right. oh, stand, stand by French Reggie. Uh, it's very close. It's it, right? it, like you said, he, about, he likes to dance on the line. He's dancing on this rape line right Am now. That, that might be right. Am I? That might be right. I you, hope- said, you said she wasn't really down with it. It's not she, she didn't was, want to. I, like this is what it is. You know. You know. I think peer pressure. Your looks forced her. Your looks raped peer her. Peer pressure. I think it's just the fact that everybody's fucking and you pussies everywhere. She was like. Well, I'm not really comfortable with my sex. You know what I'm saying? I just we were young. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like this is when we, you know, young people. So it's like I don't think she was ready for that part of the relationship yet, or that part of of what whatever we and were doing. And you still did it. No, but like she just. Chris Reggie, can I can I ask you to hold on for just one second? One more, yeah. Jimmy Mac, it's, it's getting, getting it's, sounds it's more. It's more, more yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need you to stand by for that. You're still talking, Jimmy <laughs> uh, Mac. Bro, we he might said, be at the table with a rapist. Listen, he, said, <laughs> I, I, he knew she I wasn't. Didn't know. It's hold, hold, stand by for Dre. Stand we, by. So what? How? Did, what? After the fact, was it her crying? What? What the fact told you that she probably wasn't one hundred percent comfortable? A, a behavior afterwards. Afterwards, did she yeah. stop like dealing with you? For no, no, a brief? no, no, no. Did you only fuck once? What you, nah, they only fuck. So once. even though you wow. knew it that no, she no, was, no, 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 because after that we 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 talked and she got more comfortable and then that's oh, when so I you, realized I was like, oh, I have to do this more. So you taught her. You you talked the panties off her. Uh, yeah. I think that's repeat rapist Reggie. Right? No, no. It's like you make them feel I good hope, about I it. I hope. Like you, I hope the women in the slack room can think back when they were younger. Because you know, how a lot of girls regret having sex, losing their virginity. You know, you know that, right? This not the ones that I, I don't even actually think I've been with two virgins. I don't think either one of them regret that shit. They probably didn't. But there's a lot like of girls. There's a lot of girls. In this world, in your world, go ahead. Okay, there's a lot of girl in my in, in my experience that, that regrets, didn't want to have sex. No, that regrets having sex the time they started having sex, right? Mm. 
That's Prince, this, Prince Reggie. This, no, is... Right, this, is a, this is a real good point. Is it only with you? He's right. No, 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 you no, no. Not even with me. Not okay. even with me. Okay. It's not even with me. Okay. It's just, just like girls like, oh, I wish I didn't have sex with this guy. Or you know what I'm saying? Shit like oh, that. Oh, so they're saying I wish I'd have saved myself for you. <laughs> I'm not even saying all that. I'm not even saying all that. Oh God, Reggie. I'm just saying she she just felt like I like Reggie, like, but if I don't give him pussy, maybe he's gonna go fuck another girl. Stand, that stand, was her stand by one second. Lay me at the altar of French Reggie. Stand, stand by one second, French Reggie. Okay, so hey, I'm, fuck you. Stand, just stand by for a second. I, I'm willing to let him slide on this one, uh, but it's very close. What do you think, Jamie? I think that the fact that. But he went back French for seconds. Please, women in the slack room, Reggie, please defend stand by. me tomorrow when y'all listen what to the, the show. What about the rest of the listener women? I want some of the non-slack listeners to fucking type in about this. We're gonna too. we're gonna make our verdict. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah. Please stand by. But there's a lot of girls. You're still going. Okay. Just please stand by, Jimmy. Mac, I, I think we should let him go with a warning on this one. I think he's young. I don't think he should. I don't, I don't think, think their rape is right, no matter what age you are. I don't think he should vocalize it the way he did. Well, I, it's too late. He's already. It's, this is on record. Yeah, yeah. French Reggie, please stand by. Please, please stand by. <laughs> I think we should let them go with a warning this time. Even though we don't condone rape or rape culture, I think that this is a learning moment. And I think he knows now. And I think he'll do better in the future. What do you think? I'm going to have to say that I don't condone it at all. I think that the actions weren't, you know, necessarily. <laughs> you can blame it on being young, but I'm not I'm not co-signing. And if something were to come up later, you know what I mean? <laughs> So how do we move forward then? You're saying you don't want them around anymore? No, I'm just saying not not around any women I know. Okay. So that's that, that, this is the verdict, French Reggie. <laughs> we're we're going to let you go to the warning this time. However, you're not allowed to be around any of the women that we know. Alone. You could you could like if we have a, a function, you're invited. <laughs> but if we leave the room, you got to come with us. Okay. Listen, like, y'all just see his face. I mean, we got to make a store run. You can't just sit and like I'm going to just chill, watch the game. Whatever. You got to come. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So that's when I was like, okay, like she, she just thought she had to give me pussy, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For whatever reason, <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess. <laughs> I mean, but she. Okay, let's, let's just we gotta for, leave it alone. No, We're gonna this I'm gonna dude. help this dude real quick for legal purposes. She didn't have to though, right? And she didn't have to. She didn't say it loud already. She did not have to. Okay, okay. We just want that on record, my oh, man. Yeah, she King, did not have King to. She knew she didn't have to, right? King Kunta. I, what's, I what's, thought she did. What's French Reggie's <laughs> What's French Reggie's exposure right now? We need to know what his exposure is. Right. What's, no, no, no. But for real, like, from my experience, uh-huh. there's a lot of girls I've met. Girls, I even I didn't even touch. The first time. I didn't even touch. That just regrets the time they started having sex. Yeah. Not necessarily with the guy itself. Just. They just wish they knew better. Oh, what you know if what you, or maybe it's the girls you hang out with? Maybe. A bunch of the early I'm just age saying hoes? For my, just, man, I guess. I don't know. Why are you frustrated? No, I'm, just, I'm not frustrated. But then you, you, may, <laughs> you, may have, you may tend to hang out with. Maybe. Daddy list. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, frustrated. Yeah, that is true, the daddy list part. Fred, uh, Do you seek them out? Is that what you're trying to do? Because they're wounded and easy no, prey? I didn't you say, like didn't you say like last that. week that you don't like girls that call you daddy? Yeah, I did say that. Okay. I, I I I said that I feel like when they call me daddy is because they didn't have. Mm. I'm not my, saying that's true. My wife has a great no, relationship with her dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You she said has no problem example. calling you me daddy. Example. So yeah. <laughs> but she's only doing. She only calls you daddy when you doing when you put in work. Hey, next topic. Okay, so yeah. next one is last question. <laughs> in your own <laughs> words, try your best to describe these three womanly events: menstrual cramps, nine months of pregnancy, giving birth. I mean, I can say these easy, man. Just stop it. The lease is over, ladies. Give up. Having a baby is not the worst pain. We've already proven this on this show. Yep. Because I mean, salmonella poison. Fuck no, with me. No, here's the, here's the, here's the point that here's the point that I make, and I, and I have to make it again because you don't listen. You bitches don't listen. How many times have you had a baby? That's proof right there. Like you had a baby, it's the worst fucking pain in the world. But then you have another one. I stubbed my toe one time. I never want to stub my toe again. I'm gonna tell you one word that fucking the why. Why? Epidural. These bitches cheating. Yeah, they cheating. They cheating. They cheating. They got, but before the epidural, they have other medicine too. Like, come on, man. They, they cheating. I mean, go on and get that shit stretched and ripped naturally. In the bathroom. Right. Fuck the hospital. <laughs> Do that shit in the bathroom and you pull the, the, the sack out yourself and everything. And we'll, we'll see bite the it. fucking umbilical cord. <laughs> and I want to see the blood running down the sides of your cheeks and shit. Then come, come Right. Yeah. Then tell me, I'm never going to try to stump my toe again. But your ass going to jump down and get fucked and get pregnant again because it's not that bad. I, I can explain menstrual scream because I I did ask how did it feel. Okay. Um, and what did she say? She said that imagine, she said, imagine me punching you in the balls 
but that pain stays I don't for believe the whole it. week. Haven't you ever got kicked it. in the balls? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've been there. Yeah, Fuck that you. pain for it stays like nah, that. Nah, I don't stay week. for you. Be smiling there, too much. There is no way. <laughs> you, be That's doing, what I'm thinking. you be doing too much shit, moving You'll be around. You'd be dead if you've had pain that long. Right. And, Stop I mean, it. And, and, if and I you, feel like having a baby is like holding a shit for nine months. And the funny thing. <laughs> <you finally, laughs> I feel like it's a relief, not painful. It's, the thing about it is like, they. I love it when women use that fucking metaphor like, oh, imagine getting. How the fuck do you know what yeah, getting yo, kicked in the balls is? Exactly. Like balls, man. Like, I, like, especially I, when that shit gets into your stomach. I've, I've actually oh, thrown man. up. Yeah, I've thrown up. When you hit the balls. Yeah. I haven't. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I told you a story. Somebody kicked me in the balls, and like I'd always thought that once that's that's like the game changer. When you kicked in the balls, the game, the fight's over. Like that's the the killer. I beat that dude's ass. ass yeah, hell he, yeah. He didn't give you a direct hit. No, it, no, he he wound his foot when he went when he wound it back. His foot was like by his ear. It was some old Alvin Ailey dance routine shit. I just, <laughs> Never, so how'd you beat it? The adrenaline? Yes, no, I fucked him up. Nah. Like, oh. No, yes, I did at first because I thought I, I thought it was over with. So I buckled over. Got into your stomach. Yeah, I, and I felt the pressure because it feels like a lot of pressure. That's all it feels like. Yeah. So I built. I I, I, buck, I buckled over and I'm still my, I'm still on my feet though. And I'm like, oh my god, he just he just destroyed me. Like it's over. This is some Mortal Kombat shit. Finish him. So right? zero. Three seconds, maybe three seconds, because it, it, you know what I'm saying time slows down. I know down. what happened, and I got up and I and I fucking raged on that dude. I know what happened. What? A joke, well, see, the, first off, the rage came from the nuts, right? They, that was your nut power. But the reason why you did, weren't affected uh-huh. the way it was is your dick was probably like a bumper. No, no, I'm telling you, it, no. it, 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 my it, dick doesn't my dick doesn't hang long like that when it's soft. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it was out of the way. Whatever was going on, I'm telling you, there was a bumper. It either wasn't a clean strike. It was no. I'm telling you, this dude got a flush ass, fat, fat, flat foot across both my balls. I, I heard the noise. I saw it. I, it was slow motion. Oh! I'm telling you, this nigga, his his wind up was from the back of his ear. Like he, I don't know how he got his foot up behind his head like that, close like that. But it was like some crazy shit. Well, maybe you got fucking iron balls. I felt like I came off the ground a little bit. I don't think. See that to me doesn't <laughs> that doesn't kind of jive. If he got a direct hit on you, I. Yeah. I, I, in my experience, it's it's debilitating. It's fucking not something you can just nah, bro. You can I, fight through. No, I raged that dude. Shit, fucking legs don't work no more. I nah, threw up. Like see, I, said. I think you just a bitch. Yeah, I might be. And my fucking nuts are. <laughs> but I'm not calling you a bitch. You just acting like I was a just bitch. Act like a bitch. <laughs> As far as pregnancy goes, yeah, that's a good interpretation about having to take a shit. I don't, I don't want a baby hanging on me for you know. But I mean, honestly though, how many of us are walking around with eight pounds of fat? No, fuck that. I don't even. The worst thing or the weirdest thing to me would have something growing inside of me. I don't. Yeah, that's, that's almost weird. like a fucking. You, there's like the Alien. spider that can blaze its eggs underneath the it's skin, skin and shit like that, and then it fucking they incubate and then they hatch and come out of your arm. To me, that would be similar to fucking carrying a, a fucking something in me and would watching. You, would it. you dig the motherfucker out? I would probably. Yeah. If they create this technology where we can nope. get pregnant. Would you do it? There's nope. already a motherfucker doing it. That's like a, having a whole surgery. Oh right? no 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 no! That was a that was actually a transgender. Yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about like this. He she started as a woman. So that's yeah, let's just like we take this pill, and after two months of taking nah, it, we no, get ovaries, and no. now we can get pregnant. No, the what? world would be fucking kidless if it was up to guys to have I'm not, kids. I'm not doing that. That's just it's just a hassle. I don't have time. Like I got shit I got to do. That's not the way God made us. Yeah, I play basketball. No, nah, listen, check this out. Do your job. Listen, God made us a way for a reason. Of course. If we don't understand that, that's our fault. We got to figure that shit out. But I'm not changing God's plan. Can, so can y'all agree with me the lease is over on this pregnancy is the worst pain in the world thing? Yeah. Yeah, that lease is up. You I know mean, what I'm especially saying? Especially with the the medicine and the numbing What is the worst pain in the world? What you think it is? I just told you, stubbing my toe is the worst fucking thing I've ever felt in my <laughs> entire heard, life. I never want to do that again. I heard that for a man, and a man, maybe it's different for a woman, but um, passing gallstones, um, oh, yeah. it was like one of the worst things. Like, so the way What's it was that? just- I don't know that it is. It's like you have uh, kidney stones or stones in oh, your bladder. Yeah. Um, I just want to have kidney stones, not gallstones. Well, but. whatever. I don't know if they're any different, but they're Same stones shit. in your, in your like, sediment in your mm-hmm. fucking kidney that ends up being passed. It's like a fucking little pebble. And dude said, because when they fucking put it, he had to piss in this, like, little strainer to catch the shit, right? And it's a fucking little, I mean, you couldn't, you it's tiny. To, it's very tiny. This but coming said, out of your urethra. He said it's like the pain was so bad. It felt like this is when they had the big computer monitors. He said it is like one of them fucking computer monitors 
fucking wrapped around bob wire and that coming out your dick hole. He's like, that's how bad that shit is. He's like, it, <laughs> it's it's some fucking shit. And I can imagine, you right. know what I mean, because anything non-smooth, abrasive, that shit is just going to feel like, ee. and it doesn't, it's, it does not like one piss and it's done. It's like just the piss just moving it slowly down the fucking stream. That's like that real constipated little ball shit you have sometimes. I hate that. That shit is fucking, I, I think that's probably worse than pregnancy. I, dude, and you, I, I'm serious, that, I, you sitting there sweating, yeah, and then all of a sudden you get that's the payoff, or that, or that when you're holding your shit for too long, you get that jolt down your your spine. That's yeah. probably worse than pregnancy too. Like there's so many things that guys. What's the worst pain you ever been on? Um, when I had the uh, fucking salmonella poisoning, and Ooh. yeah, that I was. What I was type having, of pain was that though? Like it was stomach contractions. So I was having cramps, like on on a like a fucking. Pregnancy, like every five minutes, I could. You're doing it too, man. You're comparing it to like pregnancy is the worst. No, I'm just saying, but that's how. No, Imagine par- doing no. that for seven whole days. I'm just talking about pregnancy. <laughs> the contractions come on fucking like a schedule. My shit was. Fucking Imagine coming. if you had salmonella poisoning for seven whole days yeah. every month. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Your voice is priceless. <laughs> Yo, we might as well speak like that from now on. This podcast will go gold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man. But, I get but, so sick of hearing that shit. But that's that was it, man. I was I was fucking. Up for two <laughs> mine, days. Mine is mine's weak. Mine, the, the, besides, I passed out when I blew my knee, so I, I can't even remember what the pain was. If you really blew your knee, we, there's no scar yet, so we, we're not <laughs> sure you actually blew your knee. I don't really <laughs> shit ass. Um, I had a bullet scraped off of me. Um, you got a what? Yeah, there was. I was in Haiti. It, no, so you got grazed by yeah, bullets. Yeah, grazed. Okay, because I yeah. you, it, to me it's like a motherfucker came by with like a scissor oh, or something no, and it scraped like I a bullet. I got grazed off by you. bullet, but I was only like, like eight. Like you grow bullets naked? I was like eight, so to me that shit was the worst. Pain a bullet ever. grazed you? Yeah, yeah. Did, you, did a goat lick? Did a goat lick the the wound? Nah. Did a dog? Anybody lick it? Nah. So you have the wound so still? Scar? Yeah, scar. We don't need to see it. We don't need to see it. But it's it's a little bit there. It, why was it the worst pain though? If I'm it, saying I was like eight, so to me that shit was like the worst thing. But it didn't stick in you. No, nah, no. Nah, so you, just, you didn't feel the heat. It was just hot. It was hot, and it kind of okay. like burned my skin a little bit. That's okay. wild that that even happens. I was like, yeah, how that does was, it not go into your skin? It's just like it's just got you, nigga. Sorry, like, God. Like, it was just shooting around in Haiti, and then this is, and then it's like it was. Was it like Haitian New Year? So it was carnival. So was it? Okay, got, so because when you did that, you were like shooting in the air. I so. wasn't doing shooting. People no, were but just shooting when around. you you did the, the the thing, it made me feel like there wasn't like a no. Gang it was war. somebody was trying to shoot at me. No. Right. It's like so a, was it God that saved you from getting actual oh, shot? Oh, that day I felt it was <laughs> really. So I was wait, wondering. Wait, wait, wait. You don't feel that way I anymore. I mean, I feel it was. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why God just didn't have you in the fucking way of a bullet. It's just, and it, it seems like an inch, and you'd have been good. Like God could get you an inch. <laughs> I mean, but no, he had to learn something. What pain tolerance. You got to listen. Fuck out yeah, of I was like seven so that's why eight. women get pregnant. I, pain I was like seven or eight, yes. man. When yeah. that yeah. shit happened, so to me, how to, to me, I was panicking like a bitch when I, that shit how happened. How much blood was out? Is there a lot of blood? Uh, it, it, it dripped a lot. Okay. You know, I heard somebody say blood. recently that uh, God is in, God of the that's like God of the gaps or something like that. That's what God is now. What does that mean? What? So like. Science has sewn up so many bullshit stories that we used to say with God. So now whenever there's something we can't figure out, we just call that God. So God is like hiding in the gaps. So everywhere that we haven't proven, God is there. Oh, that's God. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to us having a, a definition for it yet because we haven't s- solved it. It's just God's in the gaps. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> and you're good with that? Yeah, because you don't, you don't <laughs> understand God. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It, we're not supposed to understand. God. Oh my God, no. listeners! No, I, I, I just, I gotta stop. So, that. do you believe in God or not, bro? Yes. Listeners, we appreciate you guys tuning in to No Nonsense Show. When you call him an atheist, he gets offended. We appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm not an no atheist. No Nonsense Show. Once again, make sure you hit the website no nonsense show dot com. Pay your laugh tax, man. What's wrong with you? You laughed, didn't you? What, what did the homeboy say when he got back in the car? Who? Uh, the the Christian dude. What you? <laughs> when he got back into his car about his daughter, what did he say? Oh. Uh, like that, like that, like yeah, that, like that, <laughs> like that. Yeah, go you gotta do that voice one more time. <laughs> Pay your laugh tax. It's a very small amount of money. <laughs> it will help us tremendously. You know what? You know what? Though I think he's right because. In my mind, you sound like a Jewish white lady. <laughs> so I think we're on. Like, if, if you could, it like, you know, he, uh, we got a Jewish white lady, uh, you know, front for the, for the show. Right. We're in. Uh, yeah. the, it was like, if we, could, if we could get the Jewish community to listen to our show. But I told like, you the right <laughs> ear. We just need the person with the right ear that got the platform for us, and we good. And you said, you know, I'm so true uh, for real about this shit. I didn't even say Jew. I said Jewish. I said the whole day, I don't want to fit nobody out there with possibilities. 
<laughs> so hey, look, we're gonna we're gonna make some Zionist T-shirts for the merchandise too. Go out there and buy buy one of these T-shirts, man, and pay. Uh, I'll get a. I listen honestly. I'll get this the Star David tattooed on me. New no nonsense logo. <laughs> I get the Star David tattooed on me. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, man, keep supporting us, keep interacting with us, and we'll keep bringing the nonsense because we realize that sometimes people just need to laugh. Till next time. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast. Guaranteed.